I'm Slimesicle, and today I played Killer Frequency, a game where you're a radio host that needs to stop your listeners from being killed. Enjoy the VOD. Move with Wasad. Interesting. I, um, I'm happy. Move camera with the mouse. Picking up objects with square. Square? What the f***? What am I talking about? Object interaction. Swap objects between hands with this. Drop objects is F. 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 Does not work. Okay, so it has to be in that hand. Got it. Um. Hold the place object. Release. Okay, so okay, I switch to this. I grab this. I open this. Got it. Okay, cool. Okay, I understand. Seems easy enough. Um, I feel pretty safe back here. My liquid is positively sloshing. Hello? Are you making fun of me just because... Press E to begin inspecting. Okay. Uh, Hold and rotate. Ins okay, inspect. I see. Press E to exit. All right, makes sense to me. Uh, we swap this with that. Pick this up. Oh shit! Get inspected. K fam. <laughs> K fam. We got this. Control the crouch. Easy enough. Forgot you can't whistle the mal. I'll have you know, if my lips are wet enough, I can get like one frequency going for maybe a half a second. Ready? Priming, priming, priming. Oh! I'm popping off. Somebody clip that now! What? Huh? Oh shit! Why am I not? I'd like to move. I got it! Woo! <laughs> And that was Killer Frequency. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna make sure. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? You know what? Let me make sure there's not a streamer mode, just uh, so that there, like, if this is gonna play some copyright shit at me. Uh, I think we're good. Hopefully. Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone huh? yelling, or... I don't know, uh, how? It's actually Forrest, really... is this a It was joke? a really good whistle with No, I... I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Music is super loud, not gonna lie. Yeah, let me just audio balance real quick. Um... Sorry, it's hard for me to tell when I'm live. You know, okay. four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But, I mean, does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? Is this good? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Uh, it's a little loud still. Seriously? There. Do we have to do these checks? Okay, I feel good time? about that. And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment for each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Oh, stream is still just chatting, sorry. Okay, that's my last... That's my last distraction. Changing category, locking in. Let's do it, chat. Would I like a tutorial on how to use the DJ desk? Dude, I was fucking bred for the dials. 
I was bred for the diodes. Let's do, let's do it right. though, probably. Right. Yeah. Let's get through this. Yeah. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. <laughs> let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Now that I can Easy. do. Easy. Let's see what we got. The hangups, stab in the twilight. David Scopo. The flow. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record. Picking a vibe, picking a vibe. Absolutely is a stab in the twilight night. Let's do it. Let's try and give this a spin. Fire away. Got it. Ooh. Great. Now turn it off. Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? This is Stab in the Twilight. And it seems like you're Press still taking shots in the dark. All right, fuck player. off. Yep. All right, up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be <laughs> okay, waiting to take uh, your call right. on line one. Okay. Line one. Uh, here. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. All right, Being Donald, producer, I'm going to place you on a breed hold, brief hold. Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Okay, Peggy, you have an is energy there, uh, I don't really Peggy like. Peggy mute button. They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. Okay. I labeled it for you. Thanks. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. <laughs> I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster. I don't know why I said it like it would activate it. Sound blaster. Is this the sound, sound blaster? Bla Front of the desk to the right. Front of the desk to the right. Sound blaster. There we go. Oh, Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Wait, Just on. the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. <laughs> but let's test it with a record. That sucks. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Listening to my radio program is going to be like watching America's Funniest Home Videos without any visuals. <laughs> Wink bonk. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> sliders should be right in front of you. Like directly in front. Yep, got it. What did you want me to do? Okay, so music down. Sound effects up. Oh. Play a song, I got grab it. the sliders, and move them up and down. Go nuts. So what is this? All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Oh, that's Captain? main music. Okay, got it. <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for ah! local time. Yeah. Uh, I should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. I should. It's like when I go live with my GoXLR. It's great. Let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment. Thanks, Grim Scribe, for the song. Guess that scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope. And don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. All right, Reggie. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. I'll bring it down, but I won't shut it off. I'm not even gonna bring it down, Peggy. Let's do it. It's time to turn the music off. Fucking okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, you're live in party, three. Party pooper. Two. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm I got distracted. 16. You're listening to twelve. Good evening, Gallows Colon Creek. zero zero. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to. 189.16 the scream before we start uh, taking your calls uh, uh, only the on hits Dallas Creek's only late night phone in talk show i need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening what's that forest guess that scream this is actually one of the station manager's better ideas here's how it works i'm gonna play you a scream then you call and guess that scream <laughs> we need you to guess why they're screaming did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. <laughs> now, Forrest, 
Hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. <laughs> hey, what do you mean play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago <laughs> anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. What? Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. <laughs> hey, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... <laughs> you serious? Alright, I hate what I've become. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. <laughs> Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. That didn't even make sense. All right, here we go. The perturbed Yeti falling from cliff or drowning scream. All right, we're going to have to try and make it at the same time. I'm going to try and do a better one than he does. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it And right, what do you think that win, scream was? Two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. <laughs> Just call in at 555 239 KFAM. KFAM. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Let's listen to 1980X. Ooh. Should I introduce the song? Oh yeah. Time to go on the journey that is. You're listening to Last Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Yep, take it away, Forrest. Oh God, Forrest, that was amazing. I actually hate this song. Thanks. Timmy or Jenny <laughs> or Peggy or. People think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Light enough, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. <laughs> Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted, Pegster. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. I'll bring it down, Peggy, but don't tell me how to do my fucking job. Where's the phone? Peggy, please tell me how to do my job. <laughs> please tell me how to do my job. Okay, wh wh what do I do? Oh, yes. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. This is an awesome name. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 <laughs> operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. That's great. How can I harp you tonight? <laughs> you calling to guess that scream? Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. <laughs> what? No. Look, I found a body and I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? First, I recognize her voice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. Oh shit. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. I, I try First, running. I really don't think Don't this make is a me prank. look bad, Peg. You should call the sheriff. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Oh. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? What? Where's the gas? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get a response from the department. <laughs> the right That's one. never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close, and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried.
tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... But what? Where are the other officers? I don't, I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or <laughs> whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. Holy uh, shit. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. <laughs> oh. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on oh, and shit. bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. What? Holy shit. Why me? I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the <laughs> not only doing a very person good job. equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. Yeah, sure. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. All right. You know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. Oh, shit. I have an emergency. All right, let's do this. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Okay. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Hmm. Find another set of keys? There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Check Sheriff Matthews. Check the officer's desks. Have you looked around the officer's desks? That's the first place I'd check. That was the first place I'd check, too. Damn. I couldn't find anything useful, though. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Okay. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry. It's Sheriff. all right, Leslie. Keep it light. Keep it light. We're live. Please keep it light, Leslie. Leslie, keep it light. Leslie, keep it. Leslie, I need you to keep it light. Ratings are plummeting, Leslie. Keep it light, Leslie. I can't keep this up forever, Leslie. Keep it light. Very good. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good. There you I go, suppose. viewers. Everything's going to be just fine. Forrest? Oh, God. Quitting KFM if this is a prank. <laughs> I'm quitting if this is a prank, Peggy. I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. Sure, but Peggy. we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just going to sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car. Oh, boy. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Guess we're on our own then. Here on 99 Points Lime. You mean we're going to be on our own? Just Peggy and me and no one else responding to emergency calls. 
You'll be fine. Oh god. You and Peggy just work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh shit, Leslie! What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? What the fuck? Wait. What? No, no way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Okay, it says so. It sounds like whistling? Whistling? It can't be. They'll know? Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask, how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Uh-oh. Lock the doors! Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. I need to... All right. I went to school for broadcast. I need to channel my radio voice. Leslie, I need you to take a police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martin Don't run, Leslie. Any... He wants you to panic. I'll just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Didn't think about that, Leslie. I think you're fucked. Sheriff Matthews. Wait, which one is the one that got knocked out? Who's the one that already shot the bullets? Who's the one that already shot the bullets? Martinez already shot the bullets. Sheriff shot. You guys are giving me completely different answers. Okay, I think Martinez. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. <sighs> I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. Well, shit. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Yeah, we knew that. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. That's what I was trying to fucking tell you. Leslie, can you see any other weapons? Are, are there any other weapons <clears throat> lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Leslie, you've checked his body like seven times. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with her baton. Pepper spray and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Well, taser seems like a pretty good option. Pepper spray, he's got a mask on. We don't know that you can hit the eyes. But, Tan, you're going to be in range. And you're weighed down. Leslie, go ahead and grab the taser. This whistling man's in for quite the shock. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? I've got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez, but then... That? No. Is it the killer frequency? No. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Can you still see the whistling man? You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Let me take a look. No. I don't see him anywhere. But I can <laughs> see the car. Squad car three. It's right there. Leslie, have you ever watched a horror movie in your fucking okay. life? Deputy Martinez? Because it's seeming like maybe you haven't. Just lean on me. Yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. I think this killer's going to have a Again, present for you, Leslie, if you go out there. Now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. Don't think that's going to happen, yes, Leslie. I hate, be, hate to be a pessimist, but... Uh, <laughs> Is this an exclamation point? Or a, uh, an ellipses day? Good luck, Leslie! Good luck, Leslie. And the line's dead. That's one brave woman. 
God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. <laughs> oh, I think we got Leslie back on the line. All right, Leslie, you're, you're coming through. through. Hey, Leslie, we got you on the line. How are things looking? 10-4, over. That's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. Insane I, to say. I'm guessing you made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. All right, Leslie. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get Leslie, are you whistling or what's going on? Leslie, what's happening? Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Taze. Yeah, take that! Good shit, Leslie. Drive! Leslie, drive! Don't worry, Leslie Martinez. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Leslie, you need to be able to make your own decisions. Are you two okay? Well done. All right. Peggy's got her hands up, so well done. Sounds like you handled that pretty well. Forrest, that taser, definitely the right call. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well Sorry. Done, Leslie. Sampled a lot you of FNAF for my radio program tonight. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? That was awesome. Gallows Creek as a nowheresville. But it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. <sighs> we'll do our best then. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Leslie, you should stop by. I'm on a anyway, fucking roll right I'm now. In All right. Try not to crash out there, Leslie. Try not to crash. We need you back in one piece. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. <clears throat> All right. Folks, Deputy Martinez here. survived the We've whistling got man. The killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. That is going to send and everyone Leslie, to a panic. We're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. Who we are? If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. Late Night for Lurkers now, tonight. Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Here we go. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. I know. How does he get the fucking synth of the drums to mix this well? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. Ratings are the fucking I know. Who is this whistling man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Moody. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. Well, Leslie, then I think we're all gonna make a killing tonight. We're gonna charge so much for ad space. This station <laughs> might finally float after all. Ah, so what happened to him? Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Alice Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was. Well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Not looking good, Pegafer. Guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. 
At least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight, could be around 35. Thousand, 35. Peggy? Isn't 3,500. <laughs> I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people at best. Peggy, can you tell me how the hell we're in business at all? How we can afford any of this, Peggy, please? Peggy, how much debt are we in? Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. Niche micro-influencing moment. Night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? 36. I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Five million when listeners. You're <laughs> when you're ready, shut the music off. Yeah, I pretty much streamed it about the same size. Yeah, on the low end. Yeah. All right, let's fade it out. Peggy, let's not shut it off. Okay, let's not use harsh words like that. All right, patching you through. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16. Welcome the to the screen. forest. Let's get you out of the woods. Is everything uh, all right? I think you may want to invest in a sleep apnea machine. Yeah, We've got an ad this? for just you, the thing. Uh, hello? Hello? All right, this is the, we're we've, we're down to like thirty listeners, okay. and you just. What's your name, and why are you calling in? God, he's just like me for I real. Come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Oh shit. Do you accept requests is insane. Hey, we take requests. Do you? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. <sighs> A sacrifice. A sacrifice to us. I, I mean, me. <laughs> you want cheese dusted pretzels? I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Yeah. Appreciate it. Not yet. Not yet. I want to deal with them. Let's make this. Let's make this entertainment. We also want a mega goal. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, kids. I can hear you mega gulping over the line. Why don't you say your address live, and me and my thirty-four goons will roll up and <laughs> give you something. <laughs> Give you something to gulp about. <laughs> Come on, kids, give it up. I know you're just having fun, but there's been death tonight. This really isn't appropriate. It's super inappropriate. <laughs> man, suck it, old man. Gallows hide for one. <laughs> for anyone just tuning in, we do in fact have an actual killer out in the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with. Your doors and windows locked. And that is going to be, of course, David Scopo with Moon Knight Flow. Should I introduce the song? Yeah, let's do it. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Moonlight. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? 
Oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be. God him. bless you, David Scobo. By pretending to be this whistling Fly man high. character. They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie. No, that. That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. All right. Let's hope it's not another whistling man. Let's fade it out. And let's bring him in. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Peggy, whose fucking show is this? Oh, my shit in my life. Hey! How's it going? Hello, Kyle. You You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. Oh, shit, Sam. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. Cops aren't coming. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Bad night to go out for a run. <laughs> I was gonna get her fucking killed. I'm sorry, but you really picked a bad night to go out for a run. I know that now, baby. That's why I just What'd you call it? my car. But I dropped my key somewhere along the way. Sandra, that's very bad. You never what? I can't get moving. Is there anywhere else you can go, Sandra? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. Sandra, that's very oh, bad. Oh, he's back. <gasps> about cars. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Sandra, I have no Wait, fucking idea how to do that. Back to David Scopo with Moonlight. Uh, listen to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly so neighborhood okay. radio host, a mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record uh, spins, folks. This one goes out to you. Sandra. Is there anything in here on how to hotwire a fucking car? Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. You know they're not even brothers. Okay. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door. Out the door? Down the, down the hall. Got it. Well, you just keep that record spinning. I am going to use the little boy's room. Scream. Just, just, just fucking around. Just pre-wetting so the toilet paper. Doors, so few keys. This is down the hall. Not here, right? I'm not getting in there tonight. Guess it's down here. All right. Where is this car show? Craft and work. Seen on TV. Okay. Make a little pot of coffee. Christine's mechanic on duty. Hello. Truck. FM. Now this has oh, to be here important. we go. Borrowed your car theft magazine. Huevos Rancheros aren't sitting right. You'll need to find something. Who wrote this? I don't know.
Someone was enjoying Huevos Rancheros. But if I want to save everyone's Huevos, we're going to need to find out who. Flavor profiles. Garlic bread. This seems like the guy. Nothing. Borrowed your cart that magazine. The swivels aren't rich. Uh, give me something to read. Okay. Can I read this at all? Uh, am I dumb? Wait. I understand. I need a key to get in there. All right. Where were you shitting? Oh, that was the woman's bed. I see. Oh, damn. If I went to the other one, this would be the first thing I saw. Let me give that a peek. Let me give that a peek. This looks useful. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's got shapes and colors, too. It's got shapes. All right, let's study this before we go back in. Step one. Use a screwdriver as a key. If that fails. Step two. Remove the steering column cover. Check the serial number and then strip and twist the following wires together. There's a four before a three and a number seven in the number. Well, this is not going to go well. Six anywhere and doesn't start with five green and brown. If there's a zero at the end, and three doesn't come before six, red and yellow. Well, <laughs> this woman is fucked. I'll have top hits too, just in case. Hello, Peggy. Hope you enjoyed those beats, everyone. We are back. Place item on the tray to hold them. Great. find anything? All right, Peg. Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Did you look at that? Time to turn the music off. To fade it out, Peggy. This is an amateur hour. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Boop. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <gasps> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. How do we start this baby? Put a screwdriver in the ignition, twist clockwise. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. How's that gonna work? Goes, baby. I, I, oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? I feel you, Sandra. Next problem. Go ahead and uh <laughs> That would be kind of funny, Sandra, but let's not do that. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Music. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Oh, God. How long are these screws? Okay. Go no fucking good idea, Sandra. You got this. There's a bunch of wires. Oh, shit. Mixed up and, oh, God. My heart is pumping. Sandra. You're doing great. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. I don't know what jazz okay. breathing is, Sandra. We can do this. <laughs> but if it's like jazz, it actually sounds like it would make you panic more. Red, blue, yellow, green. What's the serial number on the steering column? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. 576-894-320. 576-894. Oh, it says it on there. Okay, okay. All right, Sandra. 576. There's a 4 before a 7 and a... 4, a 3, and a 7. So, no. If there's a 6 anywhere, it doesn't start with a 5, green and brown. No. If there's a 0 at the end and 3 doesn't come before a 6... 
Perfect. Red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow, then we twist and we turn. Love the vibe, Sandra, but you are going to die if you don't hurry up. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Strip the purple wire. Uh, do not touch this live wire. Brush, strip, and brush against the twisted wires. Yeah. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... We sure do. Cut the left pink wire. Okay, got it. All right. I'm, so, I'm glad you're safe, but lay off the jazz. We don't. We don't really. We don't play that here. That's a competitor. I'm glad you're safe, Sandra. But please lay off the jazz. Lay off the jazz. Sorry, Forrest. My life is my own, especially after that. I'm happy to be me. I'm happy for you too, Sandra. And come on, Forrest. Just have fun with it. I don't think jazz should be that big of a part of anyone's personality. That's all. Forrest. I don't him baby. He'll learn one day. Anyway, gotta get home now. Thank you all again. Mwah! Uh, are you really safe? Are you really safe? We did it, Forrest! Goddamn! We sure did! Sandra's Here's out of there. another hit track that we're ja excited <laughs> to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in we got to any Star Wars Jizz in here? Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. Let's get that ad space, Peggy. This is I Don't Fucking Know by Who Gives a Shit. <laughs> I still can't believe this is happening. <laughs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal. I just hate it here, Peggy, and everything it stands for. It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, no, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Stab happy? Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, I can't help it, Pegster. Like I'm a radio host. Place. Some folks have been okay. Yeah, sure. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. Check not this out, though. Not terrible after a while? Fuck. High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. Nice. It's Forrest Nash Forrest for... score. I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, oh, yeah. that would probably be a good idea. <laughs> now this is DJing. 12.42. M. All right, this is actually a good time for me to take a little sneaky leaky chat. I will be back in just a second. Don't go anywhere. Hang on, wait. Can I put on a... Oh, that, wait, can I put on music for you guys while I wait like a real radio Power station? On line one. Don't go anywhere. 99 Point Slime will be right back. You just enjoy the tunes. This is fucking music we by a guy a or woman. Wait, is it timed? This just in, I'm also going to save in case it's a time event and this person fucking dies. See you in a minute. I suppose I should take this call. Take the call. The 
signs lit up. I need to take the call. Caller waiting for us. Hit the button. We have a caller. Caller waiting. Call waiting. Better take it. They might need our help. That was the streamer with They're Dead as Hell. Thank you so much. Now, I also am a little hungry. <sighs> and Charlie went banana. So, we're going to play a little something for you while we wait. We have a call waiting. Hey, right, Peggy, one fucking second. This is the flow crying for help. Or, in this case, calling. Ninety-nine point five beats to get whistled, stabbed, and murdered to. I suppose I should take this call. It's DJ. Let's DJ. Shot. Hit the button and take the call. Hey, Peggy, this is my fucking show. The lines let off. I need to take the call. Here comes the drop. Oh, it's with the beat. Someone like you, Peggy, a small town star, wouldn't know the first thing about producing a real show. Oh, fuck my banana. Oh, fuck my banana. Hit the button. We have a caller. But the show must go on, Pexter. I guess we can probably take that. This is uh, Forsh Morris Baboris. Go ahead and give it, a, give it a read. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian What's Ponte. Brian? Brian Ponte of Ponte's Pizza. 
Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What, uh, what's the sauce tonight? Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. All right, that's wow, a cheer. Brian, that's really I mean, good of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals that'll have you. How do I turn them on? No free, no free advertising. How do I turn Sounds this off? Great, bro. How do I turn but this let off? Let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. How do I turn oh, this off? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, don't worry about it. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. My God. We've got a great special this weekend. Take him off. Take him off the line. Beer and pizza deal. Take him off the line. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. And this is happening. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick. Before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Oh, hello? Now, a word from our sponsor. How do I do that? You know how to play an ad, right? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Say no more. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. That'd, be, that'd be so fucked. That'd be so fucked. Oh. Okay. No, I have no idea what to do nope. that. In flight check time. Christ. Our captain would like to remind you that the station is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. Okay, cassette. Cassette, cassette. Oh, here's a cassette. Red. I think of the... Oh, America! Hello, let's advertise America. The cassette player is on the desk in front of you. Yeah, I see Just it. Just above the sound blaster. Yep. The there sound... There should be a cassette in the dock nearby. Yep, the dock. Is this the dock? Uh, how do I? Okay, eject, eject. There we go. Got it. All right. Here it. Here it is. Bam. All right. Uh, put that puppy, the puppy in the microwave. Let it cook. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. Goddamn. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, oh, shit. Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. But he's not like, like Sheriff like Matthews, bitch. who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve... They'll never know. They'll never know if he approved that message. Who approved this message? Oh, he does. He does, though. God, what a jackass. Hundred percent grade A asshole. I know who my Linda vote's going Cartwright to. Isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No. Just wasn't one. there another cassette? I have to ask there though. Go. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Well, well folks, one second. That reminds me that oh, every vote matters. 
That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. In one second. In one second after I check out just one thing down here. Yellow, what's going on? Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Hold that thought. Hold that thought until after we've played our paid sponsor for tonight. Appreciate you being on the line and calling in. Why don't you give this a listen? Hey, hey, hey. great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh, no. We're out of beer. What am I going to do? The party is going to be over. Fear not. The grilling spray will give you a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins this Tuesday. Say what? That's right. Order a meal bill from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins. A free six pack? Right? Right, turbulent. Me six beers if Gallus High wins. Thanks, Grill Reaper. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> me too, Billy. Me too. Classic Grill Reaper. Come on down to Grill and Spray. I'll call 555 749 8335. We've got barbecue you'll die for. <laughs> oh, that one gets me every time. Now, unfortunately, we are top of the hour, so we're just going to play one more ad, and it'll get right to you. You said that guy broke in downstairs. Well, let me break you into some new deals going on right now. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Yes. Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only twenty four ninety nine? Then I am nine one one. You will learn Chef the four Matt, qualities of an ultimate yeah. conqueror. What the happened? power of the alligator. I mean the discipline of the tarantula. The, the speed of the tuna. The, 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 the poise of the scorpion. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now. For the low, low price of only twenty-four ninety-nine, just call five 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 seven eight six one USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in, dressed as the Whistling Man. <laughs> they get worse every year. And this wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye. Do you seek I was there. Do you want to double your it. power? Are you ready to unlock your inner no, warrior no, I for only twenty-four ninety-nine? The man step is into bad. Master Rock. Don't be an ass, And receive direct by video warrior instruction from me, Master Robbie. Okay. They didn't live through the terror thirty years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. You do? I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security Fuck. cameras all around the building. My fucking sliders are broken. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a Shit. set in the boardroom. Um, can you get out of there? Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. 
That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? Quit. They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. And get an exclusive interview with the killer. I like your thinking, Peggy. You might be cut for the big leagues after all. And get an exclusive interview with the killer. That could be interesting. No, <laughs> I mean we just make a distraction. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. Easy. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it, Maurice, because we've got another ad to run right here at the top of the hour. The world-famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. You don't think the killer got, got it, do you? Mr. Russell. Russell. I'm here. Queen pageant, cotton candy, Rick's corn dogs, corn rolls, corn on the cob, crokin' old country music, check can your can fax can, jam, jelly, jamboree, juggling, roller, rookies, Fax machine. Is it in here? Oh, no, shit! The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Uh, office on the other side of the okay. hall. Okay. Go didn't to the see office that. Didn't see on the, the other that. end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Fuck, this is before my time. This must be it. Chat, no fax is not short for phantom tax. Which I pay quarterly. All right, Maurice, I'm back. Okay. Hey, did you get the fax? Sure did. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my facts? Try to make any fucking sense of this. Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's <laughs> the situation. The whistling okay. man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Got it. Now, he's in the office next door. Okay. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? We call him to the editors. He'll be far away enough to get to the stairs, but he'll see him leave. So we should call him to the archives. Call the archives. Hang on. Kitchen? Let's call the archives. The kitchen is in the corner. Archives has a phone. Let's call him to the archives. Call the archives. The extension is 01. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Oh, man. Where do I need to go? Okay. He's going to the archives. We're going to send our boy. Archives, cubicles. Okay, so are there archives? Wait. Kitchen or archives? This feels wrong. There's no office option. So he's in the office next to him. If I send him to the archives... Um... 
I like where the doors are. Second thought, let's do another one. Uh, and second thought, let's dial another room. Let's dial another... Boy, we're wasting time! He's right, Forrest. I can get another number ready. But we probably won't get to okay. change our minds okay. again. Where do you want me to call? Okay. Editor's office. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Secret archives is back there. So the archives and the secret archives are probably connected. I think we get him to go to the archives and we send him to the kitchen. I think that's what we do. I think we send him to the archives and we get him to hide in the kitchen. Alright. Oh, they're not going to move at the same time, are they? We're going to send him to the archives. We're going to send our boy to the kitchen. So he's going to go across there. He's going to go to the back of the archives. Distract him so our guy can run by. Easy. Call the archives. Call the archives. The extension is 01. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Go to the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. The kitchen? That's just across from the archives. Well, that's, uh, the, the, the other option was to send you to the archives. Are you sure, Nash? Absolutely not. I'm absolutely not sure. But I don't have a chance to rethink this, I don't think. Oh, God. Okay, give me, give me a, another second, Maurice. Uh, let me rethink this. Damn it, man! Do you want me to be a headline murder? Hurry up! All right. I sent him to the archives. Oh, you gotta go to the kitchen. The other, the only other option is the archives. I can't send him to the editor's room. All right, you gotta go to the kitchen. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, the man. The kitchen. That's just across from the archives. I know. It's I know. Going to be tight. I know it is. I'm sure, Nash. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to the archives. That's good for us. That's good for us. Good plan, Peggy. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Okay. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh. But now we <laughs> We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Let's pick it up. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? By the skin of my teeth, I am. <gasps> he came out of the archives <gasps> almost as soon as he entered. <gasps> Thank God I made it in here just a second before. The killer already searched the archives. He probably didn't have to look around much. Oh. Did he see you? Are, are you safe for now? He didn't see me, no. Let me just check this. He's already searched the kitchen. He's already searched the kitchen. Looks like he's heading towards the cubicles. We have enough intern desks to keep him busy for a little while. I'm not out of the woods yet, though. We're okay. Uh, right, let's We're bring okay. you where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs. Which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly or quietly. Can you lock him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? 
Maybe. The damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. Say no. The secret archive through my office. So I was looking at two, okay. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. Okay. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Now's not the time, Peggy. Come on, Peggy. Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around Come like Come on, Peggy. That. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured <laughs> Love out. Love you, Maurice. You the got a great energy. Okay. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? There's no phone Can't. number. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're going to need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Just one, Peggy. And it's to run this out and hear a word from our sponsors. Ro to roller disco lessons. Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, bitten sand, licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. And fake tattoo face painting puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dance and story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing so circle. circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog, hot dog eating contest, contest. Please do not contest. forget flower contest. And of course, do our not famous, the famous board, board measure off. off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons. Oh, Factory that and bitch. Oh, she's never going to win the race. She's not really from this town. Let's turn that right off. Okay. Use a radio? Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Okay. Uh, hope he's a Scream fan. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream? <laughs> Gallows Creek's best and only late night calling show. It's funny when I do it, Peggy. <laughs> I'd expect that level of self advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. That's low. Will you idiots focus now? His portable radio should still God, be. God, viewers are just clamming. It should be in the archive. Actually, okay. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. We're gonna save him for us. Well, let's not get ahead of hey, ourselves. Begarino. Thank you so much, uh, Ethan the Alien, for the reset. Appreciate it. Don't get excited yet. We still got to finish this ad. De dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, to do tragically taken from us last. Let's just see how it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still got to find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Okay. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Oh, please have some juice. Marius, turn the volume. Please, turn the volume. It's always, it's always on. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works. Maurice, I make it whisper. Alive. Use your fucking Obviously inside voice. I just get that day off he wanted. Please, Maurice, please. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. I can't have this stupid thing turned up. How am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. I don't fucking have any idea. But wait, we're the radio. Yeah, huh? We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you <laughs> can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. 
But after your earlier self advertisement, Nash, I don't think oh. that's necessary. Oh. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Oh no. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Wait, so where does he have to go right now? He has to get to the secret archives, right? And he's at the cubicles right now. We're in the kitchen. <clears throat> Maybe we call the boardroom? Man, he's gonna be right over there. Okay, let's think about this. Oh, we already are in the secret archives? Okay. We're in the secret archives. He's in the cubicles. We're in the normal archive? Wait, 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 sorry. Where are we right now? Where are we? I'm confused, I'm confused, I'm confused, I'm confused. No, just tell me where we are. I don't wanna, I don't wanna hear what you want me to do. We're in the archives. We're in the kitchen. What? Normal archives. If we're in the normal archives, okay. Okay, then we need to get all the way around to the secret. All right, let's call the boardroom. Call the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Are we not? Wait, I, 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 are you guys being, are you lying to me? I have no idea. You're all saying totally different things. You're all you're all saying completely different things. Well, I, I you're all saying totally different things. You're you're all saying kitchen. You're all saying archives. You're all saying secret archive. I I was I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm looking for the longest message and I'm gonna trust it. You're on your own, bud. Kitchen, 100% not the kitchen. This is really annoying that I don't know this. Maurice went to the archives to get the radio. We left the kitchen. Got it. You know what? Let's just send him to the boardroom. Sure. 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 Make the sure. Call. Sure. Fucking okay. sure. We'll figure, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll move on our feet. In a second. You're what? You're what? Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Oh fuck. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'll impersonate Mr. Russell. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. It's gonna be awesome. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? Here we go. I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Actually, really good. Uh, I'll give you an A for F. No, it's actually Ooh, really call good. Call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Okay. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I. Uh, good question. It's under my <laughs> desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet. That'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. 
Oh Your God. Judgment has okay. Alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Under the desk seems crazy. Inside the secret ar archive seems crazy. We need to be on the outside to lock it. Cubicles? Feels like it's too far away. That leaves the cabinet. That leaves the cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. Here we go. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. <laughs> Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. Uh -huh. You can trust us. Yeah. Here we go. Funny. It's funny. Please, please, please. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man. I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive. Come on down, whistle man. Come and get a knuckle sandwich. Did it work? It worked. It worked. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. <laughs> and if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We just locked up The Whistling Man. And now, a word from our sponsors. Boy, you beautiful bat. Let's go! <laughs> I don't believe that actually worked! Frank, neither can I. If I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. Over. Let's go. Adding it to the pile. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call I'm gonna keep it just in case. <laughs> We're not out. We're not out yet. We're not out yet. This freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow with the gallows reporter. <laughs> I'll think about it. Let's see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. Hey, Maurice, maybe you can get the fuck out of there. Maybe you can... There we are, folks. Oh, is it good? The Whistling Man is locked up. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Nice one for once, Peggy. Maurice Russell is all safe and sound. This is the word. And the word tonight is smooth. Smooth, 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 all right, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? <laughs> Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Well, that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. It's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. It's crazy. You're sorry? Why? Did you do it? <laughs> Was it you? Is it you, Peggy? I'm oh, sorry. Why? Did you do it? Of course not. <laughs> I only... I'm just messing with you. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the question. You're not really even in there, are you? I'm just making... You're not really even in there. Oh. Well... My folks went the same way as yours. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself injured. Sorry, Peggy, this is such a fucking jam. That was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. 
So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, <laughs> Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Oh? Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? You um, sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K fan regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. G, G thanks, Peggy. G, thanks, Peggy. Interesting. The buzzer's on the front door. See you in a bit. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. All right. There's an upstairs too. Locked. Well, we're fucked. Welcome to K Fam. How can we help you, K? There's hey, no one here. Tape. Play on air. Okay. That's not good. Is there any other tapes down here? Bomb, 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 bomb. Oh my god! Brad and Barb are gonna break up? What the fuck is the point? Shit, love's not real. Oh man. Brad and Barb? Peggy! Peggy, we got a new sponsor! Peggy, we're gonna be rich! Peggy! We're gonna make millions! Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for life. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I did not enjoy that. What the Why is hell it? It's like that? glitching. I. Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Oops. Uh, sorry about that ad, guys. Back to your yeah, regularly uh, scheduled <clears throat> program. Wasn't the ad tape we meant to play? Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. Maurice locked the killer up. I know. Unless there's multiple. And also, very, they're so quick with audio editing software, it's crazy. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay. Nope, talk to Peggy. Nope. Guess Peggy had nothing to say. Collar, you're on 189.16, the screen with... <laughs> Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Oh. Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The whistling man is gone! Well, shit. He's gone? What happened? He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. The door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks. What? Well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. Maurice, come on. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Come on, Maurice. You let him escape? Did you let him escape? Of course we didn't. I demand <laughs> you retract that accusation. My bad, Maurice. Damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. Okay. I braced myself and... Yeah, then? Then nothing. The room was empty. What? The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you, it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. 
I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... Think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Uh, g -g 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 -g. There's no way. G -g 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 -g. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. Dissect baloney. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. Maurice. This seems really Maurice, that's our income. That's our income. Wouldn't do that. you be if you got attacked by a serial killer? Who turned out to be a demonic spirit? He's not a demon, Peggy. <laughs> I'd say just yeah, another you're Tuesday. Yeah, probably right. But what do we do now? 1.04 a.m. But you're listening to 98.1 you FM. For the helpful tip, the bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks, we need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches batting. Stabbing the toy. Oh, this one's my favorite. Let's do it. Hmm. Should I? Yeah, let's do it. It's funky. It's groovy. It's stabbing the twilight by knife and easy. Easy peasy. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. All right, Peggy, but let's not do this live and scare the shit out of everyone again. There's apparently more to do before I can leave. No, there's not. Play me ASAP. Off air. Okay. Fuck, Peggy. These, this is real music. Not the shit they play over at 96.4. Fuck. Oh. Alright, let's, let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. Here we go. Or try your call again. Ugh, straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals oh. at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. Gina I'm Franklin. calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. Huh? We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never. Uh -huh had and probably Snatcher. never will again and we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy mm -hmm. programming i'll be frank i didn't want you as part of this debut yeah, but mr that. snatcher due to his prior friendship with mr nash prior and current friendship gina forest Knight, you all right mm -hmm. don't worry about gina you know how she is but yeah can't wait for you to hear the new single man i think final breath is my best work yet I really hope yeah. you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. <gasps> that was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher? Yeah. He snatches. But so do I. We used to snatch together. Old friends. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my God. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe he didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? No fucking idea. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sees the pants <laughs> How did I miss? All right, let's go find Final Breath. Boom, 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 boom. Don't worry, chat. British people aren't real. This video game is not based on real events. It's completely fictional. Don't be scared, please. It's okay. What is this? Alone.
Axe two. Axe two two. Axe. Genie, good luck of you make okay. So Genie works over here? Sure. Um where is this uh this mailbox? Reception, this is reception. Did you guys happen to get the latest signal back over here? Oh, there it is, there it is! This must be it. Final breath. My Let's go. tiny selection grows. Okay, what is this? Dead alone. Oh, these are this is cool like art. Okay. What are these cats? Bow 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 bow. Let's give this a listen, guys. If we only have to, we're, we're, we're not going to be on the air for long, really. This is more volunteer work than anything else. I do not get paid for this job. And here is Final Breath. I like the, the vibes on them. Here we go. Let's see what it's all about. This is The Snatcher with Final Breath. Coming in hot exclusive here tonight. Give this a listen. Close your eyes and let yourself feel. Especially if you're driving. Close your eyes driving. Start to rock with the beat. Steering wheel in your hand. Rock your steering wheel in the beat. Close your eyes. <laughs> there they go. Wow. This kind of sucks a little bit. This sort of sucks. Shit, oh, my mic is my mic hot? It's hot right now. My mic is hot. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's on. That's not, that's not good. Oh, hang on. Wow. It's like I'm in an elevator and a, on a bank hold line at the same time. My life is changed. I thought I was finally done waiting for a good song. But then I heard this one. And I felt like I was still waiting, but this time with a musical accompaniment. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Peggy, it's already on the air. Do you have ears? Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, oh, shit. he should be safe from the worst of Gina Frank. What? I was just getting into it. Every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. You can't, oh, Peggy. Shoot. It's going to self destruct into an exclusive. Oh, I shit. I really hope it's nothing oh, serious. Oh, shoot. How long have they been there? How long is that, Peggy? Peggy? How long has that been there? Um. Evening, caller. This is for us. Didn't hit that. Sorry. Well, everything's okay. 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, All right. What have you got for us tonight? Love the energy, Murphy. Two things, Forrest. First, Love it. happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Three today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. How to love. Aw, happy Aww. birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday. Thanks. And now, my other thing. Murphy, where are you right now? I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. Uh-huh. You think you're tough, huh? Hey, Murphy, this is a bad idea. Come face me. And Gallo's waste disposal place. Guess what? I used to make these little things, the little bridges between radio ads. <laughs> And songs. I used to make those. 
And I did like little samples from in between. <laughs> That's what I did. 89.16. Oh! I did, I did. We had 15 second, 30 second ones. That's what I did. That was my, that was my internship. Um, so I just did that all day. I would literally just sit there and mix, like, just the fucking, just the hot part of songs together in different orders all day. And then be like, 99 point fucking, 99 point billion, the blitz. Only the hits. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, you're gonna kick his ass, Murphy? Are you gonna kick his ass, Murphy? God damn right! Fuck yeah, Murphy! I'm gonna kick his Fuck ass! yeah! I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. Oh shit, okay. So get ready. Twenty-six ninety-nine man. a month, I believe. You just let loose the junkyard dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, That's what they called me in high school. Fingers yep. crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Point sixteen. The screen. The screen. Point sixteen. The screen. Okay, going to ad. I've actually played. I think every ad. So I don't. I, I don't feel like it, but I'll do it again. Play me ASAP off air. That seems like a good Time one to, to play a commercial. Oh shit! Should I play we that? We need to play a commercial. Nope. Well, sh I'm, uh, people aren't supposed to hear that actually. So let's put that back in, and let's play this. Uh, nope, that's actually the horror one. Um, this commercial will be good to run. Let's do it. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back. We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dog. I wonder if there's any more ads around here, actually. Corn on the cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Train. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale. Oh, we're only on the bees, guys. Get comfy. Hey, toss. Hey, you. Get comfy. We're only on B and we can't leave. We're only on bees. September 1987. And big tattoo face paint and puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dancing, story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle. Pie eating, lawnmower racing, Gallows hot dog Creek eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous Inside Gord Measure Off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here for us. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks. Welcome back. All to right, the show. welcome back, we everyone. From my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Oh yeah, we got to let's know. see what our next caller would. Choose. Worked a couple of those we too, right? Local radio you events. Big Ten pop-ups. I think there's a lot. There's like a ton of references here. With Myers and Peel and Carpenter, and Call I think all of them are. One. King, Axe Down. I think I know most of these. It's cool, though. All right. All right, line one, what have we got? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream. <laughs> oh, who's there? Who's there? Who is this? Um, are you okay? Do you need help after this brief ad break? I can get that to you. Sorry, one second. Uh, no, let's play. Okay. Do you need help? Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? You called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. God, that's awful. He's coming for me? Well, I'm sure he'll Jesus. wait. Jesus. Hey, listen, I'm talking to this guy. We've done this a few times. Great party, now. man. We can help. Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me so, grab one out of the fridge. You saved them, or? We sure did. Yeah, we did. We did. You're in safe hands. Okay. What am I gonna do? Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, caller? 
I'm Dr. Sullivan. One second, Dr. Sullivan, the fucking grill master just showed up for a record deal of six beers for free if they win the game! Calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. It's okay. Can you call a neighbor? Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. Convenient, There's Virginia. Just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Oh. And take out coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... What? Oh, what God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Fuck. Wait, the takeout. Oh. If we can get takeout to the frat... We can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. No, don't be a stupid idiot, Virginia. Don't worry. Just try to remember. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. Oh. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Um, well, we can't play Final Breath again, right? That's, it was the final one. This is the flow. Crying for help. Should I introduce the song? Um, this is a song hey, for your ears. Do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling barbecue place, Spree, grilling spree. And you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and then of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. Ponte's Pizza? And Chalupa Cabras. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Grilling Spree? Oh. Okay. Grilling Spree, Ponte's Pizza, and Chalupa Cabras. And she's down the street from a frat. Well, I guess we would, they could be anywhere, right? They said a grilling party, though, didn't uh, Who gives a shit? This goes hard. Let's get calling. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was They're going to fucking die. They're all going to die. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from. Mm -hmm. Call the takeout, pretending to be from the frat. Place an order and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Now that I can do. I hate this town, Peggy. But I guess I gotta play by its rules. You know, it's things like this that make me hate this town. Complain after you save her, Forrest. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. Okay. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. Kitchen downstairs and food related. Oh. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Thanks, Peggy. For well, good news. God, where to start? Already saw something here. What would make me order from somewhere if I were a party <laughs> <and> <laughs> <frat> <laughs> <boy>? <laughs> <laughs> a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or. Uh... <sighs> I just have to order pizza. Dear Bradley, a promotion, huh? enjoy Maybe a free if I find sample. A pizza box. They just offers a deal. Grilling Spree's new offer is terrible, and we think you should read our advert instead. Okay, I ate the garlic bread much like your show it was mediocre. The deal is worth checking. Oh, wow, I was fucked up. Chalupa Cabra. Okay. Hmm. Okay, best in town. Despite being a pricey option and offering no deals. Interesting. No deals. Okay. Inside of our box. We just need to find where that box is. Probably the kitchen, right? Yeah. I'm sure it's down here somewhere. 
where's the... Have I seen the kitchen? Ooh. Staff makes sense. Bit of a fucking maze in this office. Oh, here we go. Break room. Ooh. Oh, it's playing over the air. That's my station, Mom. That's me. All right, where's the trash slash recycling? There it is. Through trash. This is a new low. Very point that Gallows High wins by in Tuesday's offer. big game. Wonder how well Gallows High performed. Ooh, okay. Did they win? Oh, and there was the the. Wait a second. Wait a second. There was also that Grill Master deal, wasn't there, from the Grill Reaper? The six free beers? Seven days. Oh, hello. That's what I was just thinking, too. The grilling spray. Alright, let's ask her. Maybe she knows. Or maybe... If we have a local sports journalist, they'll tell us. Do we have a local sports? Here we go! Gallows High wins! Eight points. Let me read the deal. So they win by eight points. First of all, go Gallows High. Go Gallows Groundhogs. Can I just say? Insomnia Insomniac as well. Thank you for the resub. Didn't see you there, but now I did. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, behind you, slime. <gasps> huh? Huh? <laughs> that was odd. For every point, but Gallo wins in Tuesday's big game. Get one free beer. So, eight free beers? Wow, that is a deal. The grill deal was only six, right? Hey, find anything useful? I did. Uh, I'll look again. I'll go and look again. All right, don't take too long. Let me just make sure. Let me Virginia just make sure. Needs our help. Let me on air. Uh, Huh. Oh wait, I already had it in! Beat the fear of Gallows High wins. <gasps> it was right there! That means, <laughs> looks like Ponty's Pizza is the culprit tonight. Well then, why take a stab when we can take a slice? Hey, find anything useful? I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Yes. Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Don't tell me how to do my fucking job! I'll fade it out. Sorry, my slide. Why is it... When I... you're ready, shut the music off. No, I really am trying. I actually really am trying. I really am trying right now. I think it's just totally broken. Okay, well, Forrest. I hope that doesn't come up later at any point. Call Ponties. Let's do this. Stuffed crust. Thank you, Fruits Ludge. Why did I read it like that? For the reset. Call Ponty's. Call Ponty's Pizza. Here we go. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. And so is Virginia's life. Let's not forget that. Ponty's Pizza. May I take an order? What's fucking... Oh, dude. Frat man calling. Frat man calling. Frat man calling. We're in major need of foods for dudes. Uh, may I take your order? Wait a second. Garlic bread. There was a deal with the garlic bread. There was a deal with the garlic bread. I remember it. I need some garlic bread. Oh, I need the bread. Can't you? 
<laughs> Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. We got we'll it. We got it. You right away. We're in. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. Thanks, Ponty. You're the part of the KFAM. KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's pizza, you know. We should really call them and let them And now we wait. We should put a song on. <sighs> Agreed. All right. This one goes out to our delivery workers. It does. This is... Uh, David Scopo back at it. Scoping out the song. David Scopo with Flo. Yo. Oh, yes. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Hmm. Equally good? You mean equally good? Yeah, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. <laughs> so between grilling Doing spree a pretty good and deal though. Covers, I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat, or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day. Oh, you that know? was actually sick. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Fuck. Yep. Just one second, Peggy. Just one second, Peggy. I'll pick it up in just a minute. Just one second, Peggy, and I'll be there. Peggy, we need to fix it. It's the rim. It's the way it's oriented. It's the orientation, Peggy. It's the angle of the rim. It's not me. Peggy, the angle's a little off. Okay, Forrest. How can I help you? Music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fratman Bunker. Oh, that actually worked. We got some calling plan and a note to call this number. That's right, Plunker. Uh, yeah, dude. Yes. You called the right Plunker, place. This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And... Yeah, dude, I'm honking on your horn. I'm honking on your horn. Sure, this is Goose. Sure, whatever. It, it's Goose. Now, listen. I... Goose, dude, get your ass to the party. We got so much beer. I, I, listen, I need you to. Goose, come get beer. Your brother is awaiting for you. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm migrating Goose. north, dude. I, I'm migrating how north. How can I prove this to you? <laughs> Let me get a second opinion on this. <laughs> Insane name. <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control the music. It's true. So, play us the flow. Easy. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, Easy. okay. I'll play the damn song. You're now listening to the flow. Let me introduce it for you, too. Or it's not real. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, radio man. <laughs> Got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen. Well, one sec, I'll tell you after we finish listening to the flow. Just say no more. Bunker's moving the house. <laughs> oh, God. Forrest, line two. I just brought the whole party down on our... <laughs> Hello, you're live on 189.16. Oh, Jesus. The stream. Oh, God. Forrest. What, like I'm the killer? I didn't talk, I promise. What? <laughs> Let's go, Plunker, dude! Right. Get out the bread! He's good. He's good. Oh. oh, is that you, Radio Man? Don't worry. We brought the beer. Yeah! I could use a drink. Thank you, Forrest. Party hard, Virginia. You're welcome, Virginia. See you tomorrow, tomorrow and thank evening. And you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. 
Some wear sheets as togas. Hey, Forrest. Woo! Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she Oh, meant? I wasn't. Yeah, totally. There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another call. Oh, we do right away. Okay, all right. Let's hear what they've got to say. Actually, one sec. Chad, I'm just going to run to the bathroom and fill up my water. But while I'm gone, why don't you... Uh, we, we can we play some tunes. Waiting. Yep, one fucking second, Peggy. Chad, what would you like me to play? What's the vibe? What's the vibe? Go piss in the bathroom? No, why would you say that? Disgusting. Here, I'm, I want to take chat off slow mode. Oh yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted. I want to see everyone. I want to see everyone. Slash, slow mode. Off. Oh yes. All right. What do we play? What do we play, chat? Bat. No, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Final breath, final breath, final breath, the flow, the flow, final- I'm seeing a lot of final breath, boys! And it seems like we are gonna be gasping for air tonight when we play Final Breath. I suppose I should take this call. No, I shouldn't. Be back in just a second. You all just enjoy the music. Have a wonderful time. You're listening to Final Breath by some guy I think I'm friends with. Good night. I'll be back in just a minute. You just let the music take you where it does. Hey, Big Shot, hit the button and take the call. Let up. I need to take the call. Caller waiting for us. waiting. Better take it. They might need our help. Have a call waiting. I suppose I should take this call.
Hey Big Shot, hit the button and take the call. Let up. I need to take the call. Caller waiting for us. Button. We have a caller. All right. Now is Twitch chat still here, or has it caller fully waiting. become children of the corn? Oh wow! Actually, I'm very impressed. Some. <laughs> There's people in the chat. Stop your yapping, streamer. Stop. And most of them are just are just dancing. Well, this is beautiful chat. I'm glad we all had this moment to bring us together. Are there someone on line one? Call waiting. Better take it. They Let's might pick need that our help. Up. Time to turn the music off. Yeah, sure. Hello, caller. <laughs> it's back on. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. How are you doing? It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. Small business owner? It's a scary time for everyone. In what kind of creek? What kind of business? How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe family friendly place oh what small business do you own oh what small business do you own oh well i'm not really big on promotion but uh since you asked uh -huh. it's oh god fucking damn it Bondi, get him off the fucking line get him off the fucking line drown him out drown him fucking out drown him out we can't get him off the fucking line please please Maggie, please I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just. Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. For now. We For already now. have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Okay. Okay. All right. Don't tell me to turn the music off. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music God off. God damn it. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Yes, you sure, are, Eugene. Caller. What's your name? And what have you got? Actually, I already know it's Eugene. I'm reading your radio Stein, voice. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. Mm -hmm. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars Amaze. and waiting okay. for her. You got uh, a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Okay. Molly. <laughs> Molly. She is lost in the maze maze tonight. Take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. You're out there in the corn, huh? That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. Uh-oh. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. That sucks, Should Eugene. I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's hmm? why I'm calling. Listen, do you really need to ask, though? Like, really, really? Eugene, I... Do you really need to ask? I'm just not sure, you know? Eugene, go... There's also a wild murderer on the loose. Please go home. 
Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. Like recently, that wasn't yeah. my bad. That's not my bad. I guess it's not the night. Hang on. Oh. I hear some rustling. I'm sure it's her, Eugene. I guess she came after all. Molly, I'm in the middle. It'll take a little while. Love's real. Thanks again, Morris. Love's real. Good talk. Molly can't whistle. Maybe she learned for you, Eugene. No, no, because she no, loves you. The best night of my life. Maybe she learned. Not the worst. <laughs> Eugene, it sounds like you're in trouble. Maybe you should just. 189.16. <laughs> just run through the walls! <laughs> Do you know that? Do you just run through the walls? Can't you just run through the walls? It's only corn. It wouldn't be the maze maze if you could just walk through walls, Forrest. She's right! I... Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. We will. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. I'll do my best, Eugene, which will be moderate for you. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, Here's a track for all you lovers out there. Oh, it is? Uh, for all you lovers, this is... Final Breath, again. For the seventh time tonight. <laughs> I know him. You love him. This is Roddy Snatcher with his new single, Final Breath. And this will How snatch your breath away. How am I supposed to get him through the maze maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a Maze Maze fanatic. Oh, that's amazing. It's a shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. So if she's a fanatic... Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Why'd she change her mind? Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. What? Does everyone have dates in the Maze Maze? So sorry to hear that, Peggy. I'm so sorry to hear that, Peggy. It's fine. I'm not the one who had to go out with that jerk, Brad, after all. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. Oh, okay. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Receptionist. Barbara, you know, Barbara. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Thanks, Peggy. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Are you real? Ring any bells? Right. Are you yeah. real? Sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... Are you no real? excuses. Just go and find something to help real? us. All right, reception, here I come. Let's uh, see if we can borrow from Barbara. Thank you, T. Otter, so much for the reset, by the way. Reception, the maze, maze. Achoo! Sorry, I have powerful snot explosions. Reception is right here. Shit. The maze, maze. The maze, maze. The maze, maze. The maze, maze. Um, oh, here we go. Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. Promising stuff. Okay, tractor statue. Guys, I've done my fair share of time in corn mazes. I think we're going to be all good. Uh, oh, no, it's Zell. Thank you so much. Chat. Eugene came to the wrong... G Oops. Eugene came to the right guy. Okay. We're gonna get him out of there. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. <laughs> oh, he's fine. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter right now. Didn't work out with Brad, Peggy. Later. You got a shot you after all. While you were away, he's on line one. <sighs> all right, Eugene. Love is real. Ready, corn shut is. The music off. You're in danger. Peggy, can you please fucking stop? There's a reason you're on that side of the glass. Welcome okay. back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. 
And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran. God, they're I so loud at whistle. It's such a loud whistler, Eugene. I'm at a crossroad. Facing a tractor statue. Amazing, that's all I needed to know. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Okay. So that means he's facing that way. He's facing the dude. He's facing the guy. Go right, go right, go right. Okay. Let's find a way out of this maze first. So where does it... St okay. So we need to go. I'm going to take my finger. So he's there. We need to go... Oh, we have to go a while. Shit. We have to go a while. So we need to go up. Yeah, we need to go up and get to three. Then we need to go past four and work our way over to six and seven and then go up to ten or nine and then we're, we're, we've we're already around there. So we kind of have to go like... You follow? And yes, up would be left. So we want to send him left. Go left, Eugene. Go left. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh, yep. I went left, then tried a right. Yep. I have a pig statue in front of me. Good stuff. And a creepy rocking horse on my left. Amazing. Eugene? If my intuition is correct here, and it rarely is, and you got a pig statue in front of you and your rocking horse to your left, you're definitely going to want to go backwards. Because it'll send you this way. Go backwards. Go backwards. He's got a chance on Eugene. He's upgraded. He's fucking upgraded, Eugene. You need to run. Pitchfork ahead. You're going left. Go left. Easy. All right, that'll send him down. Hopefully. <laughs> Don't we all, Eugene? Maybe you can come here and broadcast that when you're done. What? Nothing to my sides. Tiny bar, scarecrow. Eugene, you're gonna want to go right. Go right. I mean left. I mean, oh shit! Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. I can't run. Much more. You're almost done, Eugene. No worries. No worries. I just passed a cordon silo. Didn't see anything else. Okay. Eugene? Please. I know which way you came at it from. Go? I know which way you came at it from. Eugene? You're gonna wanna go f what do you mean right? There is no right. Eugene, go fucking forward. You just passed a corn silo. Eugene, go fucking forward. Oh, he's at the crossroads? Eugene ran forward, he's at a crossroads, you just passed a course on you're gonna go right! Go right. There you go, Eugene. The name's Forrest, but I'll get you out of the woods. I love you, Molly! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. She's you peaked so hard. You peaked that so was hard. Tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. Woo! I think it went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. Either way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Makes also sense 149. God, this is, night is going slow.
And thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. This night we'll is make sure well. to add the town librarian Ooh. to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. <laughs> next caller is up for us, so take it away. We have a big list of suspicious Clives. Let's see who's next. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Is it Molly? Eugene's too good for you. Hey. Wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That's really wonderful of you to say. What's your name, caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Uh, sure. Long Ride Home. That old song. Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. No, this is not suspicious all right, at all. Folks, Just normal, normal person. Is that old classic? Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played oh. it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the what? trash? No, I uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. The window? Peggy. <laughs> Peggy, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. Classic fucking Brad, this fucking so I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Well, not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Sorry about Brad. I'm sorry Brad was being a dick. I thanks Forrest. Yeah, he's Brad. Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks, here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Final Sorry. breath. Oh. This is final breath. <laughs> fucking again. Hope you enjoy this <laughs> one as much as I do. You've already heard it, and you're gonna hear it again. Of all the songs to request, why'd it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. For years, Peggy. All right. Okay, Forrest. Yeah, I know you want back. me to shut the music sorry off. It's just a really good song. Short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. I'm so sorry, Welcome Chad. I know we all love Final Breath. I know we all do. This is Forrest Nat. Forrest. God, it's me again, Murphy. Murphy, Mr. Dojo. What's wrong? Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Uh, oh, the killer got me, man. Got you. I. Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's not important right now. Just tell me what happened. Goddamn. Nice disposal plant. It's somewhere right here, right? In a dog. <laughs> I got a flashlight. Oh, oh God damn! I smell smoke. I think he started a fire. Oh Hold shit! Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Murphy, I'd go, but I got a show to run, man. Peggy, get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just um come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. <laughs> what do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no I'll just take off. vehicle? This is final breath. He Oh, god damn it. Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. They can't do anything. I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save them. Maybe. My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine okay. lives on the west end of Myers Lane. Uh, and there's Jericho on the east end of Myers oh Lane. Oh, God, you just told me so much information. old. Really old. You just told me so okay, much information. I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. You told me so much information. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Peggy. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Peggy. You said so- I forgot everything you just said. Check the post-it note. Oh, thank God. Thank you, chat. Alright, don't give me any- don't give me any- don't give me any- Alright. Alex. Lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road, right next to Romero Street. Corner of Haddonfield Road. So right there. Okay, we'll just put this in- I'm sure this isn't important, we can put this somewhere. Up, uh, put it over here. Okay, corner of Haddonfield Road, right next to Romero- okay, so- there. Catherine lives west end of Myers Lanes. Myers, 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 Myers. West end. Myers Lane. Okay. Old Man Jericho lives at the east end of Myers Lane. Okay. And this note said... East side McCready Street will be closed. Residents will be unable to access the connecting road between Rogers and Haddonfield. Where's Haddonfield? Rogers Avenue. And Haddonfield. Huh? Oh. That feels important. There's another post-it. Fire department, get more fire engines. Yep, okay. This is not helpful. Um, okay. So, residents will be unable to access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield. Okay. So, Rogers Avenue... Avenue and Haddonfield Road is East Side McReady Street. So this side will be closed. This side right here. But if we call this, so the best person to get is. Old Man Jericho, probably? West side of Myers Lane. Because she's far away. Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road, right next to Romero Street. Okay, so she's there. East side McReady Street will be closed. So it shouldn't affect Alex. Old man Jericho, he's so old, he's withering away, he's just bones. He's just skin and bones. And he's right there. Haddonfield, Haddonfield should be fine. Because this side, we won't even have to be there if we go there. Whereas here, we're further away. So it just makes sense, Alex. Alex makes sense. Call Alex. Call Alex. All right. Give me a second. He's so old. I love J I, He's just so old. He'll probably die all the way to the car. It's not even worth it. They're corner of the Haddonfield way. Road, right next They'll to Romero Street. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Wait. Forrest, I'm getting a call. Wait. Are you sure you can't? Wait. What's happening, Peggy? Wait. Oh, she wasn't there. She... Alex was too far away. Too slow. The plant burned down. It collapsed. No! So fuck! Is... Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. <laughs> Just like his dad. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, Fernando <laughs> will be crushed. It's like
like his dad. Poor kid. Forrest, that I wasn't trying to set you up for a punchline. No, I know. Ugh. <laughs> I promise we will stop this. For you and for Fernando. Peggy. It's gonna be all Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. We're so fucked. All right, folks. Another of oh. our good citizens. Oh, because I don't understand how Let's roads see work. What they had to say. Oh, it's on his on his fucking kid's birthday. Oh god, this was the worst one. Welcome to 189.16, the stream. With me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows. Oh Jr. no. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. Okay, Teddy. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We... I know you're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say Good shit, thank Teddy. you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you, Teddy. Thanks, Teddy. All uh, right. Thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife. This is not the time to promote your damn campaign. <sighs> I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. I'm sure you'll crush the polls just the like Gallows that fiery dumpster. Battery. Founded by my father, <laughs> oh. Theodore C. Gallows, the factory. Soul, which employs over 200. Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. Yeah, no. You know what? I do have a problem. A problem that's ruining our town. And what's that, Teddy? You Speak to me. It? What is it, Teddy? Teddy? It's the your family's waste plant burned. That's my bad. Your family waste plant just burned down, so now we have nowhere to dump our garbage. The problem is that woman, our current mayor, Linda. God damn Cartwright. it, Teddy. Oh, here God damn, go. bringing the music. She up. just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and you're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Teddy, don't Could say you that. you dare speak to me that way? Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And <laughs> that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Oh, Teddy. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back after these messages. No problem. I got you. Take your mind off this. Fucking Teddy guy. Teddy Gallows Jr. <laughs> was a family man. A devout Christian and a proud patriot. <laughs> Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. <laughs> like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, God, Teddy it. Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy no! Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. I'm so pissed I failed this. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes I in the I would have known. I would have known. Does this road never right? would have been closed if Teddy Gallows Help Jr. Teddy was Gallows in office. Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good never American town. Closed. Help him become mayor. Take never a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. I know Teddy Gallows Jr. And I Jr. approve this message. Well, that was a good ad. Caller on line one. All right. Back to your regularly scheduled uh, murderous programming. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. 
Oh. Uh, hello, caller. Got someone else. Who is this? I need the police. Oh, sorry, I'm I got Forrest bad news. Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I. Okay. I think he's killed some of them already. This is our chance to bring it back. This is our chance to redeem it. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. Well, it looks like you might be taking your final just breath. A kid. Where are you? Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell Locking me. in. What's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Carrie. Carrie, okay, good, great. Good. That's good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there, all right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Why the fuck are you in a place called the murder house? Oh my god. I'm at the end of a hall. There's, there's a bathroom, like a bedroom. Murder house, murder house, murder house. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Go to the bathroom, go to the bedroom, go to the closet. I don't know shit. I have no information. It's the murder house. Bedroom, there's a window. Go to the bedroom. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. I'll... He's here. He's here. Okay. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can... Don't move. Don't move. He's on the stairs. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go right now. There's nowhere to go right now. He's on the stairs. That fucking Jimmy. Chad. That wasn't funny. Oh, it's Jimmy. Sicko. Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. Why is it prank night? Just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. He's out there, Jimmy. You know he's really out there tonight, Jimmy. Right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's just whistling night, man. What that does that fucking idiot. mean? Dude, it can't be every whistling night at once. Night? It can't be every night. Stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next <laughs> to you. That's, uh... Uh... Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank Obviously fucking God. We're safe, right? You bought time, but not much. Oh God, okay. Forrest, we have to... Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Oh, womp womp. My friend, we drove out to the old murder house, and... Oh, of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Uh-oh. Move on, Carrie. It's over. It's so over. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry about Jimmy. Thank you. This is crazy forest. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're going to get killed. <sighs> if only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Like a, th like a wish granting Jeannie? Jeannie? She's my best friend and smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Forrest, listen. Hmm. We'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Chad's there. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Send Chad. Uh, everything okay? Send Chad. No. We... Uh, we're figuring out a plan, but everyone's volunteering to do things that are just bad at. Chad's good at everything. What to do. Sure, he's got it. But I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker, or else these idiots <laughs> are gonna get us killed. But I. Shut up, you. Oh, Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. Ugh, these damn kids never learn. Oh, it's gotta be Chad. You okay? Are you okay? <sighs> Do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. This is Final Breath. <laughs> You're gonna love this next one. <laughs> Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. You really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. Okay. Right. I'll go see if I can find her desk. Alright. You don't turn that shit off. You don't turn that shit off. <laughs> Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Why would you want anything else? Chat, I'm playing just I'm just playing top forty. And one through forty are final breath. I don't know what to tell you. The other tracks start at 41. Janitor closet. Is our sp Okay, so our boy Clive is the janitor, right? Is, is, is there anything suspicious in- Ah! Is there anything odd in here, maybe? No. Do, 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 do. Dark corner, huh? I love this song. Do, 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 do. Bo, do, 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 do. I guess we can investigate around a little. We haven't really done that. Ooh. Look at that guy go! Look at that guy go! Hang on, look at that guy go! Uh, dark corner somewhere. Need the key. Oh, we're gonna have to. Oh fuck. Private. Okay. That's not opening. Not here. Not here. Uh, yes. Investigate. Take your time. It's not like Chad is Gone. in danger. That is exactly why I'm taking my time. Oh, she was back here. I remember. Jeez, they really tucked Jeannie away. She is right here. Make lots of friends and work hard. What's that? What does that say? Pizza for pizza. Okay, pizza number. Okay, axe. One. Axe. Two. Axe. Three. Hmm. Callus for life. Oh, here we go. The friendship quiz. That seems important. Friendship quiz. Oh, this might work. What the fuck was that? Okay, most likely to peak Mount Everest. All right, all right, all right. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I can't help but notice Chad's not on a lot of these, is he? Oh, Chad. 
Oh, Chad, I think tonight's your night to prove yourself, chat. I think tonight's your night to prove yourself. Oh, it keeps going. Most likely to end up in a car. <laughs> These are so funny. <clears throat> All right. Let's give this a whirl. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, oh, as long then as honestly, as long as enough. Jimmy's here, I think Harry's we're pretty much good to go. Whenever you're ready. Wait, did he get violently killed? This is Forrest Nash back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but Just we can't agree on keep coming. What. Carry on. <laughs> be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Uh, okay. Next. First things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. Okay. We'll need someone on the roof. It's going to be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. <laughs> Hot David? Most likely to triple running in a horror movie is so fun. Oh, Jimmy. I'm sorry, man. It was true. Well, Heather seems like the obvious pick, right? Hot Dave only comes up once here for Olympic athlete. Let's, let's get Heather. Wait, is Heather good at something else? Hang on. She's slightly likely to trip while running in a horror movie. I'm sure. I'm sure that's fine. Let's let's get Heather on the road. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather. You picked you. You guys can't make your own fucking decisions. Stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Okay. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do sure. it. Sure. Is Jennifer good at anything else? Jennifer is not. Jennifer, you're picking the lock. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump. Jennifer. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, you anyway, keep you keep debating. This is final three. breath. Getting the bank. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so it'll probably. That is part four. It's a long plan. Well, this is a long plan. How much more is there? Only a couple more points. Okay. You're doing great. What's the next part? The next part, part of the plan. Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. Oh, God. We need a fast runner. Okay. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Hot David. And Heather. Cynthia. Cynthia. And Scott. What? How did I tell... I accidentally... I flipped... Shit. Carrie, I flipped it upside down. Got it. Olympic athlete. Hot David's up there. Trip well in a car crash. Okay, David's not on that. David's not on the trip list. Hot David, you've got one thing. Stay hot, David. Tonight you're on fire. Hot David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you uh, spend a lot of time running short lists. You got this, Hot David. You got this, Hot David. Yeah, that's what I said! Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and yep. pick the lock on the gate. Yep. Now the tricky part. The gate. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the temptation. The temptation. 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 Part five. We trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable lead? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Does Lisa come up on here? Worst poker face is Tam who's most likely to win an Oscar? Tammy and Lisa. But Tammy might have a bad poker face. Is Lisa good at anything else? 
No. Okay. So we're going with Lisa. Lisa. You got this. Lisa. Oh, she's got the customer service experience. Oh, she can do anything. It's time to get she can do anything. Finally, <coughs> we need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Galaxy Creek Live. Who's our getaway driver? Scott. Should it be who have we got? Chad. Chad. Scott. Cynthia. Oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Okay, we've got Chad, Scott, and Cynthia. So we know Jimmy would have done great. Most likely to beat everyone in go-karting. Scott's on there. But Scott's also the most likely to end up in a car crash. <laughs> Cynthia and Scott are both on the car crash list. But do you know who's not? Chad. And the final part of the plan always comes down to our boy. It's time to go from Mega Chad to Giga Chad tonight. Chad. Oh, perfect. You got this, Chad. Your go karting experience will be great, Chad. Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves, and then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a minute. <coughs> All right. Good luck, In the Harry. meantime, this is Final Breath that by The Snatcher. That like a pretty good plan. I hope so. I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. Hmm. I'm sure they're doing great. I'm sure they're doing great. In the meantime... <laughs> oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. <laughs> All right, you're now stopping listening to uh, Final Breath by The Snatcher. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Scream. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. All right. Hit it. All righty then. Hit it. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter, to the roof. Let's see how bad go this goes. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Oh, she's really close. She's going for it. For spotter signal. Spotter says go. There she goes. Scatter. It's like listening to my upstairs neighbors. Lockpicker, go. I'll get the God, that is loud. Okay, so far everything's going going good. Hot David's out. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, oh he's, his face is... The keys, Carrie. You need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him for his... Pocket it. Pocket the face. It's okay. Focus. Focus. Breathe. Right. Right. The van keys. Got him. It's Boo. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. Nice. And Hot David should be back any second. Oh, we're fucking. Oh. Hot David. Oh, that was the wrong one. I wanted to share. I believe it's actually working. You're doing great. <coughs> okay. Focus. You got this. What could go wrong? We got this. Next step, trap the killer. Wait, hang on. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else, hide. Okay. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on She's it. She's got this. Oh. There he is. Oh. He's buying it. Oh, okay. She's doing pretty well. Yeah, pretty convincing. Don't oversell it. Don't oversell it. You're overselling it. Now, push the bookshelf over. Oh my God, he went through the floor. Like a ghost? Spotter, we need to climb down now. We gotta go. He's coming down. Yes, Heather. Quick, everyone to the van. Okay. Okay. What? What? Well, 
What was that? Stay calm, everyone! Everything will be completely fine! Oh, what's... Are those good sounds? Let me go! Let me go! Let's drive! You're oh listening to Final Breath by the Snad... Oh, shit. Oh shit, she got out? Carrie? Just stared at me and walked into the woods. I don't understand. Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? I can okay. make it home. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. Huh. Don't forget Jeannie. You get home. I don't... Uh, you get home. You get home now, Carrie. Before he changes his mind. Right. I, I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Okay. Folks, that was a... That was a lot. Our oh, our stacks tipping. Go out to Jimmy's parents in this. God awful damn it! Uh, well, For they're any kids listening. I, I mean, in, I'm, uh, please stay inside. Well, and stay safe. And happy and parents, birthday. Hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. This is Final Breath by the Snatcher. Oh, all right. The teen survived. Hey, we had a call come in. I'm so fucking sick of this song. I'm so sick. I'm so sick of Final Breath. <laughs> call her on line one. <laughs> I know. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16. The Scream. The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say... That I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. Thank you. It's cool what that. you're doing, man. Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. Roller rink. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system. So, I'm a little behind. Oh, nice. Okay, Roller Ricky. As for Ricky. my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. The one and only. And I now consider you a friend, my man. Hey, thanks, friend. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. All right. Thanks. My boy, Ricky. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So, is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. Yeah. Back then. Things were pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all Literally. bad, but there was one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. What? I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. Oh my god. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk about <coughs> it. It's horrible, Ricky. just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. And sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose, nice. making shapes. Nice. Now, whenever I get down, I get down. Good for you, Roller Ricky. <laughs> I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? Oh. <laughs> We've gone to the dogs. <laughs> there it is, folks. We've officially gone to the dogs. I killed someone Come earlier on, tonight. Come on, Forrest. Max is the best guest we've had. Ugh. Yes, he is. 
He's not even here, Peggy. <laughs> Max is my emotional support dog. He's a rescue dog, but I always say he's the one that rescued me. He's the best dog a That's guy so fucking for. wholesome, Roller Ricky. The first thing I did was teach him how to skate. What? He's better than me now, a real pro. Is that real? Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, <laughs> and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. There's no rule. There's no rule that says a dog Maxie? can't roller skate. Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. A special boy. Maxie sounds like a really special boy. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, yeah, roller can I request a song for us? Of course. Something I can groove to, you know, <laughs> something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now. Okay? Don't worry. Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. This is for you, Ricky, and you, Max. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I know one. I think I've got a pretty good idea. Oh, what the fuck? Where'd Final Breath go? This is Final Breath. Oh, it'll do yes! Here comes one of my favorites. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. One sec. There's still three minutes and 26 seconds in final breath. We have Fine. a call waiting. I know. Let me take it. Don't. Time to turn the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. Oh, it's you, Carrie. Good to Carrie! hear you. Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. Of course. We lost Jimmy, and... Well, you know. I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why... Why he didn't... Wh why am I... Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did... Why let me go? Well, frankly, I have no fucking idea, Carrie. He saw you as a victim. He one of the pranksters. He got bored. Saw you as a victim. Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. That makes no sense. Maybe. But why would that stop him from killing me too? After everything he did to... These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest? Uh, could I request a song? Of, of course, course Carrie. Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And thank you. Don't this say next thank you one yet. goes out to Carrie. Blast Processor. Oh, it's right there. 1980X. <laughs> That's not the song she asked for. I know what I did, Peggy. I... Uh, I give up with you. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Uh, Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. I actually need to piss a little bit. 
and I need to stretch the piss out from my bladder into the bowl. Chat, I'll be back in just one second. In the meantime, please enjoy a little something something. This is Final Breath by The Snatcher. Don't go anywhere. Program isn't leaving either. Oh my god! I love this song! <laughs> oh. Sorry, chat. I was just grabbing a snack, too. You don't mind if I take a quick break, do you? Here, why don't we put something on? And I think whatever we play, it's important to know that, um... Any moment. <laughs> any moment could be your final breath. Let me let me let me take chat off slow mode so you guys can so I can see if you guys are all enjoying the stream. Slow off. Is everyone having a good time? Oh my god. Yes. We love this one. I know. What song? Final breath, actually. Hmm. Aflau, thank you so much for the resub, guys. If you'd like to subscribe now, it'd be a wonderful time. I can read them all. 
Let's all just enjoy the moment here with each other, too. I think that's important. This is my final breath. Funny message also reminds me of a little something. A little song from back in the day. Final breath. <laughs> a bit more niche, but, well, let's just say it's on my playlist. Thank you, Mozzie Pox, for the resub. Thank you all for being here tonight to listen to this. Oh, top hits. Let's see what's uh, what's cooking. Final breath. Unsurprising. Hmm. Five 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 Millie, thank you so much. Mm. This song's making me sleepy. Well, I think it's important to, to take account of what music makes all of us feel. Specifically one song. Ethan is epic, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, everyone. Arcana, thank you so much. Guys, it's crazy. As soon as I started playing Final Breath, the subs started rolling in. I think we might be going platinum. Thank you so, so much. Callum Alamari. Hey, what can I say? I, I recognize a pattern when I see one. Oh, amazing. Anna Kazoo, good to see you. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you, everyone. This song makes me burn it. Makes me burn? Yeah, it was actually burned onto this. We could burn it onto a disc for you. I think I might need a different song. Fine. Um, that's weird. No one subscribed. See, no one is subscribing anymore. Check this out. And as soon as I play it, well, here it comes. Here it comes, guys. And and it's it, and there it is. It's Minty. Thank you so much for the resub. Oh wow, and the gifted too. Mayodera, you have them to thank. You have them to thank, chat, because now I know what you guys like. Oh my God. Melamari back at it with the gifted one. Wow. I wouldn't mind if tonight I took my final breath. Thank you all so much. Let's pick this up. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty. We could run another segment or <laughs> Root Corey, scratch thank that you. for us. We have a caller. Well, Peggy, don't stop that track and let's see who's calling. Okay, Forrest. Shut Shh, the music off. God fucking damn it. Through to 189.16, the scream. Thank you, positive victim. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Carry again? Oh, those poor kids. Still, oh no, collar. I just am <laughs> fully together. dyslexic, apparently. Thanks for your concern. Uh, are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. Um, you said you were gonna play it, but you didn't. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. Uh, and I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long ride home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? Not live. Not live she didn't say that. Here's a little something, Don, I think you'll enjoy. I'll play a track for you, Don, but maybe pick another one? We don't exactly have that one in rotation right now. No. Oh. You do have it. It's just outside the window. Thank you so much, There's Stanley. There's a serial oh. killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just in the old murder house and miles from the station? I want to get a second to grab it. Nope. Nope. I'm sorry, Don. I'm just not going out there. What? 
Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. <sighs> what the fuck? Well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, <laughs> is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? <laughs> if she's telling the truth... Go. Oh. All right, all right. All right, all right. I'll do it. You're a good man, Forrest. I'm gonna fucking I'll slide die. you the key to the fire door. Wait, wait, our fire door has to be unlocked. Glad he also thought that was yeah, crazy. It, uh... You know, I never thought about it, but yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the fort down while you're out. All right, I'll I'll, I'll keep this playing. I'll that keep this playing. Exciting. All right. 189.16. The screw. With me, Peggy. Oh, I love this song too, Chet. I love this song too. Why don't we pick a key up? God, it's even more aesthetic coming from the other room. Bro, where are you going? Just down to the fire door to get the record. Don't worry about it. And I also happen to know something that you don't. That on the way to the fire door... Why don't we stop for a little coffee? Oh, I love this song. Okay, let's go unlock this door. Let's go unlock this door. <laughs> I didn't even realize this. Alright. Okay. Okay, it's right outside. Um. You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Forrest, you really shouldn't. This is where here. the... In the open. Oh uh -oh. wait, this is where in the tutorial I got fucking eaten. Okay, well where's a window? Um, I'm 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 sure I'll be fine. Maybe I can lure him with a little bit of cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Threw it out the window. Oh, hey. There it is. Here it is. Long ride home. Um. Was that bent before? Oh, fucking Jesus fucking Christ! Of course. Oh. It locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. The basement? A, a door, elevator, or something. Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh god, if only I could have if only I had a little music right now. Okay, hang on. It's gotta be on YouTube or Spotify or something. It's got It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Okay. Um what's this game called? What's this I don't remember Killer First thing, first, actually auto completed. <sighs> okay. Oh, the comments. God, this soundtrack is so beautiful. Love this music. No wonder Peggy loves this music. This music, music rocks. I wish the game was as good as its music. And these comments are all under this song, which is called Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. If I just play it next to me, I'll feel a lot better, I think. 
Okay. Alright. How do we get to the basement? Ah. Great. Looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Oh, that was a good fuse. That was the one good fuse. Um. Fuck. Uh. Oh, is that a fuse? No. Is there a fuse in here? How do we get into the basement? Is it final breath? Oh, there's a fuse. Doo -doo. There we go. Two down. Oh. Well, hello there, A30. 70. Is that what we need the final number to be? Final. <laughs> what a word. Actually reminds me of a <laughs> little song. Goes a little something like Ba do do ba da do Ba do ba 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 Crawling in my skin. These wounds, they will... This is not 70. 10? 10. 40. What the fuck did I just do? 10? 40? Okay, it's over. 55. That's not... Maybe it's not even a puzzle. Nah. It's a puzzle. That's not right. Do the fuses add up properly? It, in fact, is a puzzle. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Fuses, fuses, fuses. Why would someone just leave all these fuses out here? Okay, another five and another twenty. Mm. Someone said play it again. Sure. Thanks, Cheddar. It's good when some reason comes through the noise. This is Final Breath from Killer Frequency. You got an ad. I don't, I don't actually have YouTube Premium. Oh, here we go. All right. No, someone said that. That was a real chat. You can check. So let's see. If we take one of these out. 50 plus 70. Or plus tw fucking Bingo. yes. Boom. That should open right up. I'm hallucinating. No, I think... Uh, I think I'm being perfectly reasonable right now. I'm just playing one of my favorite songs. Probably survive that fall. This is nice. Looks like the janitor's closet. Oh, hang on. What did Peggy say hang his on. name was? Hang on. Clive? There might be some actual lore here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> Oh, uh, um. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Okay, okay. I need the cop. What was that sound? Just everyone? 
take some deep breaths. Take some deep, deep, final breaths. Yeah. Okay. So this is bad. Um, Look, there's a key. I'll just take that. This is not good. Oh, important. this is kind of funny. Wait, what? Power station hospital. Chuck Brody. Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, Aunt Williams. Have the... Wait a second. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is this killer vibes? Or is this something else? Oh, hey. I mean, it's kind of killer vibes a little bit. But I haven't seen any of these names. Former Gallus High School... Uh High football captain. What? Okay, festival of disaster. Big wheel breaks free. 15 injured. Who's to blame? Big wheel. Chuck Brody. Did Chuck Brody die in that one? Kim Walker. Flu season. Okay. Improv club. Staff surge at power station. Gallows Creek hires 20 new staff in record. 12 of which were students from Gallows Creek High. Aunt Williams? Car club. Kim Walker and Peter Stein... 30th, May 1970. It's her again. Crime syndicate impounded. Criminal operation set down 24 arrests. Long running car thieving crime syndicate. Okay, that's. They're part of Car Club. Festival victims. Two engineers that were contracted in from the local power station. Lead engineer Aunt Williams and Sean Everett were distracted talking about horror movies while assembling Big Wheel. Huh. Beep, beep, look out, tragedy. Five dead, 16 injured after brakes fail on bus, 1977. Wait a second, 1977. 1972. Okay. Gallus Creek locals, uh, Mr. Rudd, Mr. M. Hewton, P. Stein. K. Stein and J. Mildred. P. Stein. That's, okay. Kim Walker's husband. And M. Stein is K Stein would be Kim. So Kim died. This would be so much better if Final Breath was playing. Do you really want that, though? Police have asked for privacy. This is your one moment where you're not going to have it. This is your one fucking moment. And you can't even enjoy it. Fine. Police have asked for privacy of the families. Incident is not being treated as suspicious. Car stuff. Game day, Gallows Creek. Official Match Day magazine. Is that Chuck Brody? That looks like Chuck Brody. Okay. Trailer for sale. 101. Yeah. Health and Safety Convention. Do you care about health and safety? Featuring special mystery guest. The lead engineer responsible for the Gallows Creek Harvest Festival disaster in 1972. 
They say you learn from your mistakes. Why well, turn mine into a career? And that was... Um... What's his face? We knew this. I already, I already forgot. Ah, Aunt Williams. Okay. Is your car safe? Suspicious particular... Uh, okay, car thefts. Crime wave of 70... Yeah, okay. 24-hour gas station bought by local ex-lottery winner. He has to remain anonymous. I don't understand what any of this means yet. Infamous author of a tell-all book. Diary of a car thief. Moves out of Gallows Creek for a new life in the big city. She stole all cars and then she stole our time and money. Okay. This would be so much more dramatic if we had Final Breath playing. Hmm. Bim bim. Okay. Car thief? Damn, this shit's just in the basement, huh? I'm bringing an arm up. Hang on, I'm taking an arm. Do do do. Do do do. I do kind of miss it sometimes, though. We'll be back in the station soon enough. Who, who the fuck just called it overplayed? It's not overplayed. We have the right amount. It would be overplayed if it was a bad song that I kept playing. It's a great song. It's a great song that they keep playing. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. Pretty good if they're still playing the music I left in. That's locked. Um, we really just... We really just leave that basement door open, huh? Let me just check in on something real quick. Oh. Maybe radio is saved after all. Maybe radio's got a chance. Well, we definitely let just the killer into our building. Oh my god! Yes, Peggy, it is! Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. I found this fucking something arm. did happen. Clive, the janitor, might be Clive, the murderer. I don't think so. What? I don't think Start so. Start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked on. And then they talked. 240. And you know what song played the entire time? Why did you <laughs> feed that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, <laughs> and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement, made by our creepy janitor, uh -huh. who you think is the creepy whistling. Man. I don't think so, but... Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target? That's right. And we've got to find him. You said there are four locations listed there, too the hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, hmm. you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Which button? This one? This one, Peggy? It is awfully quiet, chat. Almost as if there's a... Absence of maybe some music. Or a tune. That could distract you. Or that 
could take you away. That could take your breath away. Mods ban Charlie. <laughs> Mods and shatters alike. Take your vital breath. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. All right. How's it going? So bad. I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. Do -do. Ba -ba -ba. I could use some help. Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. Yep. We need to work out who the next target is. Yep. There's four locations, right? Yep. And four people. Yep. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Okay. Great. Need any more help? Well, that's pretty not helpful. Okay, no, I, I, I can't. I actually can't. I can't do that with that. I need to put. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so. It's. I can't. I literally can't keep the bit up anymore. I'm going fucking insane. Let's play the fucking thing she requested. This sucks. Where's final breath? Okay. <sighs> Gas station, power station, and trailer park. Okay, so the gas station. Oh, hello. Oh, we have pins too. Do we have any of this? No, none of the names are the same. Let's put these up here. I, it's, 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 it's unwatchable. It's unwatchable if we do this. Um. Okay. Power station, gas station, trailer park hospital. Alright. Power station. Gas station. Uh, okay, that's trailer park. Trailer park. Gas station is... Um, where's the gas station? Am I being crazy right now? That's it. Not up there. What? Oh, gas and repair. Christine's. Okay. Gas station and uh, hospital. The hospital is here. Okay. So. Rebecca, Ant, Car Club, Kim Improv, Chuck Athletics. All right. Game day. 1969. How the fuck am I supposed to find out? Here we go. Okay. The gas station was bought by a man who won the lottery 14 years ago. Okay. Helpful. That seems like a pretty good lead. Uh, in the Diary of a Car Thief. So, Rebecca Allen wrote Diary of a Car Thief. Okay. So, the lottery was bought in uh, 14 years ago. 1972. So let's look for something from 1972. 1972. 1977. I can't hear myself without. <laughs> 1969. 
Kelly's career. Okay. For, uh, former Gallus High... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're buying him some lottery tickets. Okay, so Chuck Brody owns the gas station. They got him some lottery tickets. He won. That's also between the time frames. So that makes sense. So Chuck Brody. Got it. Chuck Brody at the gas station. Makes sense. Okay, Chuck Arino. Can we take you and put you over here? No, we can't. But I know. I know he's there. So let's say... Uh, let's give him this one, too. We can't do that. Okay. Alright. Chuck's at the gas station. Can we find out where anyone else is? Um, someone left town, right? Manhattan. Diary of a Car Thief. Okay, so we know Rebecca left town. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Um... We know that one of them is dead in the train crash. P. Stein, K. Stein. Um, K. Stein, she married, she became Kim Stein. So K Kim died in the car crash after they married. Yep. So she dead. She's gone. Chuck Brady's there. Aunt Williams. Aunt Williams caused a disaster and then became famous, right? Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention. Quiet Ridge. Is it a totally different place? Oh, here we go. Leaving town ASAP. I just want to get out of here. All right. Aunt Williams left town. The only person that could still be in town is Chuck Brody. Crime of 70. Yeah, okay, so that was in the past, too. All right. Only her, only person is Chuck Brody, which is also, funnily enough, my real name. I don't know what she's saying. I'm good? I'm good now. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Chuck Brody at the gas station. That's all it could be. How's it going? I'm ready. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. <sighs> And you know what's crazy? Is as soon as I fucking stopped playing Final Breath, my brain had never been clearer in my life. It had never been clearer in my entire life. But that's the thing, is you play it, you play it for hours and hours, and then when you take it off, all of a sudden you're a different person. But the effects don't last very long. See, it's worth it, but then you have to go back. You start to feel in your body as you go into withdraw. And you feel like you might take your final breath. And then you do. Let's do this. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Gas station. The gas station? Yep. Okay. I'm dialing. One moment. I actually can't. I, I, I can't do it. I like this. I like this. I like this. I like this. I think this is right. Hello? Let's go, Chuck! Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? I'm Chuck this Brody. I mean, you're Chuck Brody. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. We found a list with your name on it, and... Oh, God. It's, it's today. I finally let myself forget. I forget what? Forget? Forget what? Forget. No, no, man. I gotta get out of here. Oh. I, I think he ran off. Chuck Brody well, ran away. Fingers crossed that Chuck. <laughs> oh my God! What Dave, the fuck? It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? I... Oh I, my god! Is Chuck? I don't know. Hang on. We're getting a call. 
Hello? Let's go, Chuck! Chuck! I got it right, I got it right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell. Of course it was. Yeah. Damn it, that fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. <laughs> My I'm God. not feeling great. Yeah, I know, Chuck. Forest, man. I know. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. I gotta go. Hey, Chuck. Wait, I... This one's okay. for you. We lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Peggy, say no more. Here's some music while we regroup here on KFAM 189.16, The Stream. <laughs> go, go insane. Oh, God. <laughs> to play something. Yes! Yes! No! No! I didn't get to introduce it. How, people aren't gonna know what song it is! There's gotta be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. Oh. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Nope, there's not. Forrest, we need to go back There's down. not. We left, the, we, we left, the, we left it open. Me, we left the basement right? open. Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Guys, no one knows the name about the fucking song. What am I going to do? No one knows the name of the song. Wait. Locked tight. Why did the song change? Okay, so here's what I'm worried about. I think it's called First Exhale. <laughs> what if that was really it? What if that was real? What if that was really what got me? Okay. Down the stairs we go. Guys, we left the fucking door open. We left the basement door open outside. This is the wrong closet. We fucking left it open. He was here. We're so absolutely fucked. Hmm. A key? Was this always here? A key? Oh. I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. You don't really believe that. You don't really believe that, do you? You don't really believe that. That door is wide open. What is that under the desk? Oh, that's just the crawler, don't worry. That's just the crawler. Basement storage. Do 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 do. Alright. Hey, Whoa! Peggy, give me some warning. Fucking Jesus Christ. Room. I did not know there was a thing. Buzz the intercom when you find something oh. and want to discuss it. I did. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Do I have a machine down here? No. What is he making? Okay, shelves. Bot thing here. Maybe we give it a... Okay. Alright. Is there somewhere I can play this? Hmm. 
Do I have to go back upstairs? No, no, it isn't here. It isn't here. Um, I'm just being dumb for some reason. Um, 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 um. Oh, well, at least, uh, at least he likes music. I stared right at it. This. Is it this? This. 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 No, it's not that. It doesn't do anything. I can't make it do anything. Oh! Button's really small. Got it. Play. George Bell. 1968. Okay. That's when this all began for me. Follow the maps. Find the tapes. I'll be waiting. Quoi? He says I need to follow the maps and find the I tapes. I don't think he is. I guess that's what this map is about. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Yeah. Let's get you found something. Is it the intercom? Yeah, okay. Boxes. Is that it right there? Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Okay. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. Uh huh. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That marks the time of death. Oh, okay. Um, under the sink. Of some kind. Uh, okay, here we go. Tape here, and there's something in the drawer. Got it. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face, typically obtained by running through foliage. Running Severe from something. blistering to the feet, as though the deceased had been running without stopping. This looks useful. Okay. 4 a.m., a call was received from a jogger. Miss Sandra Sharp, reporting that a body had been found washed up in the reservoir. I drove out to identify. It's able to wait. Okay. It's George Barrow. They informed me that they had not seen him since 7 p.m. on the 2nd. Okay. And the next one is. Okay. Telephone call. J. Matthews. Not cleared. Um. Okay. This is a. Uh, all right. All right. So big box. Big box. Big box. Metal box. Metal box. Nope, that's not what we want. Uh, it's a fucking maze down here. I think we're going the wrong way. Was that about final breath chat? Okay, we're, 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 I don't even know. Um, we went in here, saw that one, went around here, nothing here, hang on, delivery note? Uh, Starling Security.
Jamie Mac. Why are these here? Security alarm system. Hospital. Gas and repair. Ricky's roller rink. Okay. System overview. Okay. The default codes for these features are listed below. Please change these codes immediately to prevent unwanted entry. Um. So bro could just get anywhere. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. What if I'm lonely and want entry? Good point, Chad. There's nothing wrong with that. Good point. Oh, fucking... Well, I went here already. I give up. I'm going to click this one. Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. Okay. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Car door? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? God, I keep missing. I'm missing something. I slam, I slam, I slam my foot in the car door. Um, where is the one I'm missing? Is this it? This is it right here. Yeah. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. Okay. However, a high amount of cortisol was found. Mm. Indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. Well, I would be stressed too if I was drowning. And then we found this. And then we found... Um... This. Hello. Subject likely feared for his life and was chased. This has to be resulting important. Resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water where he hit his head, uh -huh. was knocked out, uh -huh. and drowned. Uh -huh. Following that, he was moved. Dr. Solomon, we need to have a talk. That recording. Shut it off. Holy shit, it's the Grill Reaper. Okay, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. This he says, okay, Caucasian male, age 18. Okay, it's drowning, yep. Abrasions were found on the knuckles, aggressive, no foul play. It is in the coroner's opinion that deceased went swimming while intoxicated, resulting in his drowning. Well, um, that's a little different. Sorry I made you do this, Virginia. Then, uh, what, what we heard? And then there's one tape here. Is that it? Yep. If you're listening to this, then I'm probably Ooh. dead. A new vinyl for my collection. But, uh... to stay informed. Oh, I God's knew it wasn't him. I knew it wasn't him. Do 
something to make up for what I did back then, I guess. I didn't kill anyone, mind you. But that's past mattering. Now, huh. there's more I could say that I should say. But my employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out. So, hopefully I've said enough for you, listener, whoever the hell you are, to start putting the truth together. Um, what the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. Well, I better ring her up. I better ring her up. Okay. So this guy drowned. George uh, Barrow. Okay, yep. George Barrow drowned. Virginia had to do something. I'm 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 so bad at dates and times. Did Virginia was she the one that had to cover it up? Where the fuck are we? Okay. Bing bong. What have you found, Forrest? So much. It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but we know now. I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I mean, it says Virginia on here. I don't know. I don't know. Found another tape that talks more about how George died. <laughs> Sounds like he was running for his life, sprinting through trees Guys, stop and bushes, putting spoilers, please. getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. Mm -hmm. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found a written autopsy report. What does it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. Oh, okay, so he's George drowned. He's just going down the list of things we found. Said he liked to fight too. But that contradicts the tape. I know, and I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, "I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia." If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Yep. Wait, the caller from earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurant. Wasn't her name Virginia? We need to call her back once we finish down here. It, it looks like she might know something about what's going on. Sure is. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body. I guess someone else must have moved it. Yeah. After he was dead to where he was eventually found. But the report, what is going on here? I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier, Sandra Sharp. Sandra, the jazz runner? That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah? What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. No. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. Oh, she got an A. But, yeah, not important right now. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests? Yeah, I think we got that for us. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that, I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. 
If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. But Sandra is still alive. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit, where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. This is starting to make sense now. This, this is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering Oof. up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, mm. Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you think you found everything? Uh, I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Oh. Come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. But how did he really die? Three. How did Thank he take God his final breath? Us. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, <sighs> really. How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? Just breathe, Peggy. It's our job. This is our job, Peggy. I gotta do it. <sighs> You're right. So, what's the plan now? I think we should call Virginia I back. Hate this all song. right, I'll get her on the line. <laughs> when you're ready, <laughs> shut the music off. <laughs> Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. Mm. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. <laughs> to this end, we're calling Please. back one of our earlier callers, <laughs> Virginia <laughs> Sullivan. Please. <laughs> Please. Please. Remember Plunker here? Who's this? Is it you? <laughs> Goose. Yes. Yeah, no, not this time. Plunker, hey, it's the Radio Man, Forrest Nash. Radio Man? What's up? Solving mysteries, saving lives, the huge. Right, 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 right on. Plunker, what are you doing at Virginia's house? Sh she asked if we could stay to keep an eye out for that whistling turd. Mm. So we're hanging out, bro. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's big of you, Plunker. No, <laughs> it's nothing. Can I speak to Virginia? Sure thing, radio man. <gasps> I'll just go get her. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm, I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumping. Oh, that's okay. I've got something that'll calm you right down. I can't. I actually can't. I actually can't. Sorry to hear that, but listen, hey, we need to talk. What about? We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? What would I know? 
Clive. Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No. I don't know that name. What are you asking about this for? Mm, you mentioned that name earlier when you called us the first time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. Really? Clive's the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistling man, Forrest. What? We thought so too, but he's not. Why so certain? Why are you so certain Clive's the whistling man? Because he... All those years ago, he... It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. We found evidence to suggest he... Well... And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening mm. tonight, which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I... All right. One day, I came into work to find a, a boy on my slab. And as I finished the autopsy, this man, Clive, he just burst in and he started making demands to give over the reports, to falsify what I found. Of course I said no, but, well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. Oh. For me, he used both. Did you not you like see, carrots my really? sister is sick. She needs carrots. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment if I did what he said. And that if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. Oh, well, that's intense. I don't know why he had me do it, but... Hmm. My sister needed me. You have to understand. She needed me. We understand. Speak for yourself. It's okay. It's all right. Go Thank on. you, Virginia. That was brave. God, I just want this nightmare to end. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. God, how long are the cops gonna be, man? Speak for yourself is on So, Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? Ooh. Well, we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Do you want to call her? I do. Yeah, let's do it. All right, but before we go asking questions, I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Yeah. We need to ask her about finding the body. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. A hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. I wonder what she's hiding. We'll hopefully find out soon. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. Oh, God. We don't want her to hang okay, out. okay. Be we careful. better put something calming right, on. Calling her Let's now. put something calming hopefully on. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. You're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who's this? Hello again, Sandra. Sandra! It's Nash of 189. Scrub, 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 And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. Not tonight. <laughs> uh, well, it is a little jazzy. We're isn't trying it? to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. My forest. I just have one question. Can you please request a different song? Why were you targeted? Do you know why the whistling man mm. might have targeted you? Ha! As far as I can tell, he was just a knife-wielding psycho with superhuman cardio. He'd have chased after anybody. Right. Well, 
We think he might be chasing specific people. <sighs> people who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Well, that was quick. Um... Okay, let's not push too hard. We found a body. Calming music. Well, actually, Sandra, I think you found the body. Sandra, we know you found George's body. We have the police report. I... It's okay, Sandra. We know. You do? You know about Yes. Of course. Yeah. This studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't lose my studio. Do you understand? Sure. Sure. I understand. That's low. That's low of him to do to you. you covered up the murder That's not what I meant! That's not what I meant! That's That's not what I meant! Low. I meant that was low of him to do! I, I bet it was low of him! Oh, look at the time. The jury's late. I have to go. I'll drive. I meant it was low of him! Not you, Sandra! Listen to the calming music, Sandra! Well, I might have gone a bit hard. That's not what I meant! All right, all right, let's just. That's on. not what I well, meant! If anyone out there has any. No! What's no! going on tonight? Please, call in. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just a second. I suppose I should take this call. That was my phone shot. Hit the button and that take the it. call. That was my phone breath. I can't fucking believe. I can't fucking believe. Welcome to 189.16. Oh, she didn't even tell me to turn off the music. Host, Forrest Nash. <laughs> Why didn't she tell me? Honest, to... I know this is really Why didn't room. she tell me? Everything happening tonight. But I wonder if you could send this special birthday message to my uncle. <laughs> this is sure. You know what? I'd welcome a change of pace. I'd be glad to. Thank you, Boris. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter. No. You never liked him. He changed it to Pepper. But he changed it to Pepperoni. No! Not you! No! No! Oh my god damn it! No! <laughs> Just move on. We've already got another caller on the line. I can't listen to this song anymore. I can't. I really can't. I really can't. Okay, I'm just gonna play it, and she's gonna tell me to stop. And we're gonna pick up. Lines let off. I need to take the call. This is 189.16. Why isn't she telling me to stop? Time for us, Nash. You're on the air, caller. <laughs> Caller. Oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> Ponty. Ponty's pizza always delivers. Come rain or sleet or whistling man, we'll be there. <laughs> Forest? Forest, are you okay? <laughs> Forest? <What's he> <laughs> I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slice. Jesus, no. Forest? 
my sorry. god. Sorry, Jesus that Christ. was I'm fucking crazy. That was too much. I've been listening okay. to it too much. It's been a I've been high listening stress to it night. too much. I've Don't been listening to too much final okay? breath. I've been listening to it too much. Not for tonight, anyway. <sighs> I think he's spent for now. Well, we've got another call. <sighs> Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Folks. Don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Mm, moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16, The Scream, with me, Forrest Nash. Who, may I say, is calling? Well, hello again, Forrest. Oh, shit. Don. Don? We played your song, Long Ride Home. Did you hear it? Can you tell us? I uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling you didn't fucking like her? Help. You didn't fucking like it? We had a deal. <laughs> we had a deal. Don, we had a deal. Kept my end. Who is the next target? Oh, it's too late for that now. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, fine. Chuck Brody was the next target, but well, that ship sailed. <laughs> uh, we should have said! We saved him, but only just... You should have told us. I'm sorry. I probably should have. I just... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. You said you needed help? I sure do. Do you mean... Yes. He's after me now. Well, you. I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. Right. Helping? Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. <gasps> I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next, after Chuck. Okay. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. So I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system Oh has shit, out. we know where this is. I need you to help me get inside. We know where this book is. Can we go get it right now, or do we have to wait? No. Fuck, we should have just brought it upstairs. Um, ask a neighbor? Can a neighbor let you in? Oh, I only moved in last week. I don't know anybody yet. There's not even a buzzer here, only the, the keypad for the entry code. I need that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there too. It's the New Woodside Apartment New Woodside. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. Right there. Shit. What? What was that? What was that? What was that? Is that a <gasps> Is it on roller skates? Yes. <gasps> it is. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing and oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. Oh. Listen, I can't get any I'm more of a Roddy Snatcher guy. Neighbor's attention. Uh, uh, I, I already know where it is. I know where it is. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000. There's a keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. Starling, huh? Starling Security 4000, huh? That's right. Very newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets me. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thanks, Dawn. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. Well, all right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy while I try to break Dawn into her apartment. Seems not suspicious at all to me. Let me out. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me, or was there something... Oh, it's quiet. Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird about that. Yeah, just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Well, tell you what. We have a Starling 4000, or whatever, here at KFAM. Mm. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. Well, 
I'm not sure who, but to help someone. So here's the thing. <sighs> okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments, and somewhere, Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Here's the thing that worries me. <laughs> Is... Oh, I thought I heard it for a second. I'm like hearing I'm hearing it in my in my brain. The thing that worries me is that this doesn't just give her access to this apartment too. It's like every like every fucking apartment with this default system. Um but I'm I'm sure it's fine. It's right here. Starling 4000 user manual. Yeah. Maintenance call code. These codes should come in handy. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I guess this would be a pretty high risk play to figure out if if she's really telling the truth by activating the alarm and killing her instantly. But she hasn't, like... Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Do we know anything about her? We don't. We don't. We don't even know her last name. But I suspect that I do know her last name. And that it is, in fact... Um, Barrow, perhaps, maybe, possibly, there was no whistle this time, this is also true, I did notice it's every, it's been every time, when I train codes and commands, sequential key depressions must be made within four to five seconds. Wait a second. I know how to tell. Not this fuck. Does she whistle? Is this actually her song? Like, did she actually make this, or am I just being stupid? Because she said it's her song. I don't, people just say that, though. Oh, but the fucking sliders are broken again, shit. Oh, that's really annoying. Uh. Okay, we'll have to deal with that. I did it! I whistled! What tune does the whistling man whistle? These people are literally all dead. I don't know if it's this one. Alright. Um... Oh, you are right about something. There's a train. There's a train station in the call, which is right next to the gas. And hang on. Wait. Hang on. Check this shit out. I'm about to deduce. I have a theory. I have a theory. 
I have a theory. I remember Ricky's thing being there. On this code thing. Ricky was. I don't remember if it got installed, but if it did, I know where she is. Because the neighbor's dog is also there. And the dog is on roller skates. Order delivery form. Starling must have left this by accident. This system's not even installed at Woodside. And it's not even installed at Woodside. But it is installed. At Ricky's roller rink. Oh, I'm glad I picked that up. I'm very glad I picked that up. Okay. But I don't want her to hurt the how do we how do we get her out of this situation without her hurting the dog? We know what's going on now. Gas and repair. In the hospital. Okay. Maintenance call code. Entry code. Maintenance call code. Set up all security measures. 191519. Okay. Here we go. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Oh, yes. Starling 4000 security. Oh, menu. yes, we did. It's got a bunch of codes. Oh, yes. Good. And did you find anything else? I saw a list of everyone else who bought the Starling 4000. Know who was on there? Oh, my God. Roller Ricky. I... Uh, do you think we should give him a call? Oh, yeah. Is that crazy? I don't know what you'd say, but... Let's give him a... I think... She's listening to the radio, though. She's listening to the radio. Just put me through to Don. I'll take care of this one way or another. Okay. If you say so. When you're ready, shut the music off. That's my thought. I hope I'm right. Line one. Whenever you're ready. Here we go. Don, are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Screen. Oh, thank God you're back. So Scoring. afraid. What's the code to the gate? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so here is the alarm test activation code. This will explode uh, everything in a three mi uh, mile radius. Maintenance code. This is maintenance code. Maintenance call code. We're going to do the alarm. Alarm test activation. The code is 191519. Okay, all right. Thank you, Forrest. Huh? Yeah, get fucked! Get fucked! Get fucked! Gone! Son of a bitch! Ah. Take your final breath. Is she? Oh shit. Please tell me they had enough time. Turn on the radio. Whoever that was, she was trying to break into the ring. She? Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him. That was the whistling man. The alarm gave me just we enough got time her. to get my rifle. We got her. I don't her. like hurting folks, but I can't let anything happen to Maxie. He's my best friend, you know? Not you, beautiful I, roller skating listen, man, dog. I'm heading back inside. I'm gonna barricade that window. My man, thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want, forever. That's a done deal. I... Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. Got it. 
Talk to you soon. Okay. okay. Ooh, good <laughs> shit, Roller Rick. Okay, well, she's coming over. She's gonna fucking kill the shit out of us. So the whistling. It won't let me turn it up. It, it, the dial's broken. <laughs> Yeah, I worked it out a while ago. I did? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I worked it out a while ago. Yeah, sure, Forrest. <laughs> you just never mentioned it. Like this. She called up. Boom. You spoke to her multiple times. <laughs> I knew she wasn't right from the start. I knew she wasn't right. Is that right, Sherlock? Why do you think she requested that song? To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Okay, you're live in three. No, you know what? I'm having two... it on. Hey, folks, this is Forrest Nash. No here. better way to do I it than over the final breath. safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman, one who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. Set to save to someone trust no one. Look out for each other and stay safe. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. Let's do that. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. Could be a fake this name. could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. Hopefully, our <laughs> next caller can help shed some light on our killer. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay. Okay, folks, time to take a call. Here we go. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. He's still breathing. Is he still breathing? Yeah, but, but he's bleeding out fast. I don't I trust really anyone. I don't trust anyone anymore. Take a breath. We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place. The reservoir. We heard this whistling all of a sudden. He just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that. And I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh, no. Forrest. Then what happened? Was it the was it a woman? Casey, was he talking to a woman? I don't know. They had a mask and wore all black. Yep. That's all I know. Okay. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know. Where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage and called 911. Wait. Why didn't she make sure he was dead? What? But please, he needs to get to the hospital. I can't drive, so we need an ambulance. Forrest, the ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. <laughs> Why is everyone at 3 a.m.? God, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's the hour. It's the hour. What's your friend's name? What's your friend's name, Casey? Do we know Jason Parker? Can you tell us where Jason was stabbed? They stabbed no. him in the stomach, and then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground, and then... Oh, the mask is still there in his leg! We'll don't right take back. it out, don't take it out. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch uh. to line two. Oh, does this town only have one ambulance? Yes, actually! Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.6. You don't need an intro like that. We have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is, well, you know. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. 
Forrest, I... Listen, you're going to have to get him here. What? We need to see him, and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right, listen. We need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first, and then finding someone to stabilize him. Okay. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. Me neither. Uh, damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you really? the procedure as quick as I now? can. Really? Now? And then leave the rest to you. He's been stabbed! You think you can handle that? What, 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 what is going on in this small town? How? Well, sure. Hit me. I'm sure we can handle it. Yo, let's write this down. Okay. Let's write let's this down. Talk. If he's bleeding yep. out, then you need to get him comfortable and okay. try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Okay. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected yep, we know this. areas. We know this. When the bleeding slows, yep. get a clean cloth of some kind and hold uh -huh. it over the wounds. Okay. Get them comfortable. Okay, she's also writing it down. Apply okay. pressure. Okay. Clean cloths when slowed. Got it. I think. Okay. You said he was stabbed, right? Okay. If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, don't take it out. Yeah, we know that. It's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. Okay. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. God, that was a lot of info. Okay. I know this. I, I know this stuff. I know this stuff. Uh, so uh, chest compressions. Here we go. Keep going. I'm still with you, Doc. Okay, what else do we have to what know? What else do we have to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. That's true. If he does, act fast. Yep. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Uh-huh. Just apply another on top of it. Right on. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood yep, circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. <sighs> All right. Uh, don't replace bandages. Elevate his legs. Okay. Keep him warm okay. and calm. Okay. This is a lot. I'm uh, really sorry. Uh -huh. That's as much as I can give you right now. Okay. And try to stop the bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. All right, Forrest. Casey's still All right. in line one. Everyone feeling good about this? Scream. Hello? Casey, please Hello? don't. Forrest, Scream. Uh, uh, how's Jason? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. Yeah, but check this out. I need help. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. Oh. But he's still bleeding. I don't know what to do. Well. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do I that. I got exactly what, what to do. Don't take that it's shit out. No. Should I pull it out? No. -uh. Don't touch the knife. No, don't touch the knife. Yeah. -uh. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Don't do Are it. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm going to stop making suggestions. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? <laughs> I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, I don't trust Casey that much either. Yeah, I can't yeah. hear him. I can't hear the other guy. His stomach is worse, though. We need to secure the knife. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some laundry piled up on top of the dryer, some cloths on the hood of the car, and what else? I guess I've got my jacket. Okay. Um. The clean rags we need to save. We have to save the clean rags. So I guess securing the knife. Um. I. Uh, um, uh, his stomach still has to do- we still have to do something about the stomach. We still have to do something about the stomach, so we should save the laundry. Look, no, I'm not reading a tutorial off screen, I'm reading the notes that I took on first aid. Um. Okay. Jacket, jacket, let's say jacket, let's say jacket. Sorry about this, Casey. I think it's best we use your jacket. 
it's probably less likely to bleed through. It's just a jacket. Give me a second. Here we go. Worst case, it gets infected, sorry, and that's out of our that's that's out of insecure. our pay grade. That's out of our pay grade. I'm putting pressure on his stomach again. I'm starting to think we might make it. Forrest, can I have a word? Uh huh. Now isn't the best time, Peggy. Can it wait? Forrest, it's kind of important. All right, give me a second. Okay. Casey, I'm gonna have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on, and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything, and we'll be there. I promise. Okay. I'll wait. Jason, please be okay. Hello? What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? <sighs> You're right. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. Uh, any suggestions? Any suggestions, Peggy? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a <laughs> producer getaway. What? You skipped it, didn't you? I, never mind. Well, so how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah, why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. 25? So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows oh first God, aid. Oh God, okay. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reg's office. Um, it's a life or death situation. Oh God. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. What? Go on. Go on. It's sensitive information, so Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great. Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. Reggie's a serial note taker. <gasps> a serial what? Maybe something in his office will give it away. Okay. Right. There is something else. Yeah. I'm not gonna like this, am I? Have you ever heard, the future is floppy? <laughs> Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about floppy disks. <laughs> They're coming back, floppy guys. Floppy disks are like coming back. futuristic things that have information on them. No, it's impossible. You put them in a computer and they do something. Uh, it is impossible. Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office and see what I can find. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. <sighs> I just have to look around. Okay. Um. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe I fucking picked the wrong thing. He's already dead. None of this means anything. Okay. I'll patch my mic down to the office. So you'll hear me over the intercom. Okay. Here we go. All right, Reggie. Where do you live, Reggie? Why didn't he use the clean laundry? I didn't use the clean laundry because that was the leg wound. We were just securing the knife. We still have to, um, we still have to, uh, bandage the wound, uh, in the stomach. And we can't do that with a fucking jacket. That was all. Looks like I need a four-digit code. Um, Reggie Jr.'s birthday is 9-10, not 10-9. Last year was a disaster. 9-10. Clive, if you're reading this, stop stealing my post-it notes. <laughs> Alien sightings. Cool. All right. Oh, he's got a lot of notes. Ask Jeannie where the tapes are. Anything in here? Okay, we've got a disc. Put it in there. Boop. Great. Um, could this be it? 
Deep cuts, top secret pizza delivery killer who kills with a pizza cutter. Terrifyingly, there is never any pizza. What happened to the original delivery guy? Maybe write him as the final girl's boyfriend. Uh, kind of stuff. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe partner with Ponty's Pizza for the launch. <laughs> no, I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. Uh, Axe forever need to write a pitch. To okay, so he's like making movies. Four digit code. Takes place on 1107. Important date for the town. Event where a large number of geese appear suddenly and save the town from starvation. Okay. So it's either. Oh. Reginald Scott, nice. It is either his son's birthday or the day when a large amount of geese appeared in the town. I'm going to guess it's the geese day. Happy Goose Day, everyone. I think I hit the wrong thing. 11. Oh, 07. Nice. <laughs> Happy Goose Day, everyone. Peggy Weaver. Let's read let's let's read Peggy's. Let me take it out. Oh, there we go. Okay, Peggy's. Okay, Peggy, hey, Peggy, are you hiding something? I think Reggie's on to you and Karen. They missed another work Maybe event. Bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a while. Peggy's great. Secretly wants her own someone? show. <laughs> you need to find someone who can help Casey. We already know I can. Don't waste time. You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. I can read the rest of this later. Okay. All right, let's see here. Bradley Carter. Um, just gonna keep jamming random ones into this thing. What the fuck? Um. Hey, Peggy, you there? Okay. Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? Uh, Bradley and Barbara, they missed our training. Okay, so Brad and Barbara missed it. Okay. Ross and Karen. Nash Forrest, that's me. Hedges John. Barbara. Okay, so Barbara missed it. That's me. I want to read my own file. Was it a hitbox collision sound? I hope so. I hope it was not the murderer's hitbox colliding with my door. Can't believe I got the Forrest Nash here. Uh, isn't really integrating with the team. Heard him call people the wrong thing. Paired him with Peggy. Cool. Okay. Let's try Karen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Karen, come on. I'm sure she showed up because she's Karen. She's Karen. Uh, no, she actually did the producer trick. She, okay, she did the get. I was wrong. I was wrong. She did the get away with. Uh, oh fuck. Uh, uh, um 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 John um Barbara um okay John. John, please. John refused to engage with the first aid trainer during the course. Uh, I know he was a war medic, but it was station policy. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Our guy's John. Our guy's very much John. I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. Get a load of this, Peggy. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf type. Forrest, what are you doing? <laughs> we don't have time I'm for fucking this. around and we people are dying. Literally dying on the line. And I'm, just making, just, I'm just making... I'm just making... It's good radio, right, Peggy. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. All right. Good work. Who should I... I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? Please yep, just up. one second. One Casey, second, Casey. I'm here. What's wrong? Guys, it's time to go and pay him. Oh. I tried to get him to rest, but he just threw up everywhere. What's happening? What do I do? Oh, no. He's going into shock. God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just 
stay calm. It's going to be okay. Uh oh, Casey, calm down. You've done everything right. Well, in a minute. I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Elevate his legs. Casey, I need you to elevate Jason's legs. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. You should have Got that. It. Jason, stay with me. Click snap his neck Just before he wakes up. What the fuck, Jason? Uh huh. We need to get Jason as warm as Heck, I know I took my own. I don't need yours. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Thank you for the yeah. help. I still have some laundry next to me. I'll wrap them in some blankets. That's good. Just give me a sec. That's good. No blankets are good. Blankets are good. Sorry, sorry. Jason sleeps through his bandages. Sh should I get him new ones? No. Oh, God. No. Apply an additional bandage. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. Do you still have something you can use? Yes. I'm using the laundry to keep We have the, the clean cloth. So, I'll use the cleaning rags on the car. On oh, the car? They don't look dirty. Wait, what? I'll fix the bandage. <laughs> <and> get it warm. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait. Wait, this. Oh. <laughs> fucking, I guess. Okay, well, that's, that's not a good car, right? So Jason, let's fill you with oil. I'm done. Jason, you're going to be full of oil and wiper fluid, Jason. So away. fucked. Is he, is he gonna? Yeah. He's gonna be fine. Jason is going to be fine. Just make sure he knows he's gonna be okay. Okay? Keep my okay. boy calm, alright? Please. I, I can't give him what he needs. Please, Sam. I can't lose him. Alright, Forrest. Well, you, you might. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too Here, well. Here, let me play a song that I know <laughs> will send Jason what out of it? this world faster. <laughs> Call John. Yeah? Yeah, call J wait. Call John. We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Yep. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. All right. Um, five four two zero okay. seven three five. Calling now. Let's hope he picks. Uh, who oh. the hell is this calling me? At? What time is it? It's John, John time, John. It's Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Just leave me a note like everybody else. Oh, this is a medical emergency. This is a medical emergency. Someone's been stabbed. He's a war medic. We need to make him feel like a goddamn hero. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man. Or, never mind. He's lost a lot of blood, and he's passed out. We need you to help him. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. Oh fuck. A man is gonna die if we don't help him right now. That was now. actually the wrong way. Seriously, that was the wrong move. John, you've got this. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg. Why are people saying, oh, no? the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Fuck yeah, John. John. That's the attitude. Well, let him know you're on your way. Good luck. Hello, Casey. Are you there? Okay. How are we doing? Okay. Bad. Jason seemed really weak. Huh? And then just started thrashing. Started what? What about now? Who's he thrashing around? I don't know what that is. He's passed out. Please tell me you found someone to help. Casey, help is on the way. My colleague will be there soon. Why is bro thrashing? Me, okay? That's a new level. That's a new level. That's a new level. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with the thrash oh, level. Okay. Holy shit, he's so oh, fast. Man. He's so fast. Please, he up. just blitzed over. I'm guessing that's Jason there. Casey, I'm gonna need your help. 
Forrest, Peggy, don't you two worry. We've got this one. Okay. Okay. Forrest, we'll call you back later. I have to go now. Good luck, everyone. Right. Well, John should and be able to finish that, the job real quick so he doesn't suffer. We're on. good. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. And hopefully he does not suffer his final breath. Well, after all that excitement, I think we could use some music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, wrong way. Oh, I think we could. Oh, I think we could use some music. Oh, yeah. God, this would be fucking crazy, dude, to be in this town and listen to live. Especially... <laughs> especially this part. <laughs> oh, what do you know? It's already on. <laughs> You'll like this next song. No, you won't. It's getting pretty late. No, you won't like This might be your last break for the night, <laughs> so try to enjoy <laughs> you it. Won't. Leave you me won't. a buzz when you want to go back on air. You won't like it. <laughs> you won't like it. <laughs> Guys, and I just want to say, I just need to run to the bathroom real fast. I'll be right back, guys. Don't even worry. You're listening. 99 point slime guys the night is young this song is old but somehow <laughs> somehow we're still loving it every time we spin it enjoy
What an absolutely horrid night to be alive. And don't worry, Chad, I got a little snack too. All I have are bananas. So now, for the 17th fucking time tonight, you all are going to listen to Final Breath and watch me eat another goddamn, goddamn banana because I'm trapped in a fucking loop. <laughs> Thanks for the reach out. Thanks for the reach out. Oh, God, I can't, I gotta say, coming back, it's like I'm hearing it for the first time. I missed this. I meant I really missed this. Mm. I really missed this one. Let's roll. You got it. Oh, we've got another call coming through, too. <laughs> okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I will do that. Welcome back to 189.16, <sighs> The Scream. I believe we have another caller on the line. How are you tonight, caller? Uh oh. Forrest, it's me, Roller Ricky. Oh, hi, Roller oh, Ricky. Hey, Maxie's oh. here, too. Are you okay, Roller Ricky? Are you okay? Still rolling? Not under attack again, are you? We always oh, are here at the good, station. Man, thanks to you. You're like our guardian angel. That wouldn't be a bad look for you, Forrest. A little white wing halo number. Maybe something for the K Fan Halloween party. All right, everyone, let's calm down. <laughs> Ricky, I'm just glad we could help you and Maxie. Is there anything else we can help you with, Ricky? Actually, I think I have some info that might help you. Oh, really? Really? Oh? What's that? What, what is that? You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gallus High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Huh. Runner Ricky, they called me. All right, and what does that have to do with tonight? Well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team, too. Keep talking. What happened? We had our first team party on the night he drowned. What? He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, were you there when George drowned? No, man. Once the party turned... Turned? I'd be beat out of there. Man, I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love. His man. girl. I see it, you know? Oh, I thought it was a daughter, but it was not. It was a lover. Ricky, please. What was her name? I never got her name, man. He just called her Bean. I, I didn't really know her before or, or see her after that. Then what did she look like? Please <laughs> tell us anything. Maybe, you remember. maybe, maybe I just call her Don. I just remember a pretty. Maybe, girl. I, maybe I just call her Don. I'm sorry. Ricky, you said the party didn't last long. What happened? We were just having a good time, and then the next thing I knew. Everyone was running for their life. What happened, man? I looked up and saw a goddamn whistling man in the trees. And, uh, and I never ran so fast in my life. I ran straight home. Didn't know about George until next morning at school. I'm guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? That the whistling man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but... I always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. Ricky, definitely not. You were just a guy. It wasn't your fault, man. Ricky, it wasn't your fault. <laughs> it should have been you, You're Ricky. Not a bad person. I know that now, ma'am. Okay. It took a long time to learn, but yeah. Just you can I'd roller skate you towards your problems, man. You Thank don't have you, to just Ricky. skate away. This helps. Thank you. You got it, man. Anyway, I think it's time for me and Maxie to free up your phone lines. Thanks for listening, man. 
I'll let you to it. So we know now. Night, Ricky. Oh, I love roller, Ricky. All right, folks. Looks like we got an Oh, when they in the say case. you can't teach a dog if how to roller skate. Has any info about this mysterious bean? Please call in. If she was George's girlfriend back then, she's probably in her mid to late thirties now. Huh. Yeah, it tracks, right? Oh, we have another call coming in. But tracks doesn't it? Hang on. What's up, Peggy? What? Huh? Peggy? You're gonna want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. Just All right, folks, do? it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. Ah, <laughs> I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out thank you for the five. Thank you for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted. Why does she sound so excited? Hello. Forest. I'm glad I got back through to you. Sounds <gasps> like it's been a busy night. Leslie, oh, thank Three, fucking God. Three, our 911 operator uh. leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. <laughs> anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. Okay. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. It's been a long night. Ever since you found <laughs> Matthews, it's long night. only gotten worse. It's been so, it's it's been been a long so night. fucking bad. Well, it shouldn't be too much longer now. I'm glad I got through to you. I wanted to let you all know what's going on. I made it to Henderson. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines, and they had no idea what was happening. Holy shit, they thought After this I out. After I told them, well, their sheriff sent a goddamn squad back with me to stop this. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man... Thank you, manager, for the gifted five. I'm guessing so. I don't know how he... How she... How the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Mm. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek oh, isn't God. a big town, but if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. Oh, God. That's where you come in. Okay. Okay. Um, what do you need? You can count on us. I, I'm so fucking sick of the song. It might be a long shot, but here goes. Okay. The whistling man already called up a few times. Yeah. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. Okay. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in. So once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. All right. I'll do my best. This is it. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a lifetime. Oh, please. Anyway. I couldn't have done I'll it without my favorite song. And tell them the plan is a go. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. Peggy, I feel like that's always what they say in the horror movie before everything goes to shit. That's nice to think, Peggy. <clears throat> I don't reckon Dawn is going to give up without a fight. She probably won't give up without a fight, no. But neither will we. <clears throat> now, let's get you back into the arena, champ. Okay. Time to turn the music off. Please. Bringing you back live now. Welcome back to the screen. What's poppin' Pikers and Nash. welcome back to the Gaggy 99 point slime. Go, 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 go. get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Who have we got? Evening caller, this is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. Oh, hey. I'm here with Casey. How's Jason? How's Jason? John, is is he gonna oh be okay? God. He's a fighter. He'll be fine. Oh. Got him stabilized and resting. <laughs> We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Let's go. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, Ooh, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? 
Hey, little guy. This forest. Hey, little guy. You survived. Jason. Jason, we meet at last. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge off. <laughs> so, I might feel even better than either of you. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But, uh, before that, I, I needed to call you. Guessing the whistling man is still out there. Yep. <laughs> as far as we know, anyway. <laughs> I was worried you'd say that. God damn it. Actually, I'm glad you called. I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. Go for it. We spoke to Roller Ricky mm -hmm. not long after. Yeah, I really attacked. need to. I really need to know more. To Ricky? Was he? Is he all right? He is now. I mean. He was attacked earlier, but this call came after. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Okay, sure. Peggy. I'm... Sorry, Jason. Uh, where was I? Ah, yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Yeah, dude. Sounds Maybe like keep it in, though. Blood, too. Keep, the, <laughs> keep, keep it in. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. Mm. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on like it never existed. What happened? What happened that night? I went along with the stupid prank, that's what. Oh, did you whistle? Whistling night. Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party in the woods. Womp womp. And have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. The party that night what? I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man. <laughs> well, you, you sure were. To get stabbed in front of everyone. Started an almighty panic. Those screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. How did George die, Jason? I don't know. I was playing dead. But when I heard her scream. Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean? Oh, yeah. I guess George did call her that. What was her name, though? Yeah. He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Her name was... What? What happened? Are we still on air? M What the fuck? How do we get it back on? Mm. I don't Why would your mom name you Mmm? You can use the emergency generator down in the basement. Ricky picked it up a while ago in case we ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. An emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack. Oh god. Oh god. So we can end this nightmare. Fair point. Digging around for all those tapes. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. Oh, see you when you're back. Okay. I'm gonna take everything I need with me. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Down where the tapes are, you say? <clears throat> um Okay. Shouldn't be uh shouldn't be too hard to find. Hey, if there's anyone in here, come out right now. 
Or I'll make sure the next breath you draw is your final one. <sighs> Far back corner. Why is this station? Oh, I can't so see big? shit. I can't see shit. I can't see anything. What the fuck? Is this? Okay. There we go. That must be it. No one back here? Okay. Boom. We've got power. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Oh, well, this is what I was worried about. I've got the disc. I've got the disc. I was on the ultimate team. You don't know what I can do. You don't know what how fucking powerful my passes are after I take my three steps. Oh, he's in. He sounds like he's in here. In here. What the, what the fuck? Oh! <laughs> No, 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 Oh, I saved so many people. Oh, you telling me I can't save my fucking self? Where are you, you whistling fuck? You think you're so cool because you can put your lips oh, together no. and... Oh shit. Peggy, where did you go? Oh shit! What? You motherfucker! Don't go live! Don't steal my viewers! What? What? Huh? A, a call. Put this on, you fucking coward. Put this on. What do you want? What do you want? Good to talk to you again, Forrest. You know, I've really enjoyed our chats tonight. I have to stall her. I have to stall her out. we've had some moments. I have to stall her out. My favorite was when Ricky ran you out of the ring. That's pretty funny. Ha. You sure did get me then, Forrest. Where's Peggy? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. <coughs> Got a little time. <laughs> Damn. Stuff. So let's make the most of it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well... Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's whistling what? man special... Who is moaning on the line? ...special guest. The one who started it all. So let me take that out of your mouth and... Huh? You crazy bitch! Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. It's Your Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But he made you crawl out of his car. I knew it. I knew it was Teddy. Wait. Where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. There were and multiple. where that is. Well, he knows I'll get it. Then who's here? Wait, then... Who am I looking at? Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallows Creek to my boy, Henry Barrow. It was the kid! I was right! But I wasn't! Your, your son? You mean you... Wait, the, I the knew they had... Yes. Two whistling men tonight. Of course. I knew there were that two. Explains how you were I knew able there to were two. Down so quickly. And that's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office. Don't think I forgot about that, Forrest. Locking my sweet boy away like an animal. Hang on. Did you say Barrel? That are you? That's right, Teddy. I just get this mask 
God. The end of your campaign. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. There we go. Marie. Marie Campbell? Marie. George's old girl. Oh. Well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Teddy, you're so fucking dead, dude. God, Teddy, God. you're so dead, man. Where's this going? Quiet. Shut the fuck up, Teddy. I'd be quiet if I were you, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, honestly, but shut I'd, the fuck up. I'd listen to Forrest. No, this is one thing we can agree on. <laughs> <gonna know now laughs> honestly, fuck Teddy, guys. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah. You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Honestly, pop off, man. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what... Happened to George all those years ago. Oh shit. Why should I? Why should I help you? Why, why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this is justice? You have no goddamn idea. Where's Peggy, dude? These people. These people you've been trying to save. No! They were all in on it. No! They all knew George was murdered, but. Murdered? Uh, listen. Oh I... no, we lost it. Fuck, 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 fuck. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. We're in the end game. We're in the end game. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. Oh no, I so flubbed it though. I so flubbed it. If you say so. If you say so. I'm not really in a position to argue. I'm happy we have your cooperation. Do a good job. And hell. You might be the only one to leave It's so impressive life. that you guys can both whistle, by the way. Can I just say, it's so impressive. I'm so fucking jealous. I need to drag this out. Yeah. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek. And if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Okay. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. You know, Mary. <laughs> Do you want to die, Teddy? <laughs> Do you want to die, Teddy? Because if you don't start talking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Teddy. God damn it. Okay. Our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for... I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Tell me why that night. Okay, I'm gonna drag it out. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went missing. We couldn't pass it up. I was just surprised no one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. You mean this was the first whistling night? I, uh... Keep talking, Teddy. Went up near Whistling Point. Okay. Uh, God, who was there? Me, Jason, and George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And okay. Roller Ricky, he was there too, wasn't he? Yes, Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky. Not anymore, he's a roller now. Receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know, because I'm a decent man. Are you is Teddy? That so? Are you Teddy? Yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. He wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life, so I helped him keep himself together. You were afraid he would talk about that night. You th he you? threatened people's families, dude. Talking about midway through the night, we put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man <laughs> screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Teddy must have told him the plan. Mm. 
No, Ricky didn't know. No, Marie, you're wrong. Ricky didn't know. What? Did you miss that part of the broadcast? I spoke to him earlier. He had no idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. Yeah, Teddy, you sick fuck. We told him. Hit him again. <laughs> have given everything away. But he... He's still guilty. It was just a stupid prank. Hit him, Marie. Hit him again, Marie. Daddy, you sick fuck. His best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding. And... Got him professional help just in time. Oh. oh well. Shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. <laughs> if I had my laugh track button right now, Murray. Enough about him. He and George took off running. If I had my funny blah blah right now. Got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point. And when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then I'm here. How'd you feel? How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I felt small and confused. And Who was under the mask? We already know, but we can ask anyway. Who was under the mask, Marie? Who was the whistling man? It was Chuck. Chuck Brody. <gasps> It was laughing Chuck. away. But then he stops. And he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. Chuck, what was he looking at? <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just Teddy. George. He ran off. Fell off Whistling Point. How do you know? How do you know what happened? I saw it. You pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there, and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You oh, liar. Teddy, this isn't looking good it's for your campaign. Joke. Teddy, that's a bad look, man. It's just a break, <laughs> bro. Bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all, you did. Then why the cover up, Tedifer? If she's lying, why the cover up? My future was at stake, Nash. You did have a pretty funny ad. I thought about. I was gonna vote for you, Teddy. Brad, bro. I don't know, dude. And then governor. And then, who knows? <laughs> what happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. So my father sent Clive. Oh, out. his papa was in on it. Why? Oh, papa! The papa was in on it. I thought it was Teddy sending him. George was a blip. Oh shit! He wasn't a blip. He wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night, but Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Uh, Teddy, did your father, uh, his own father owns Shop's everything. Dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Shark Creek. 
Hit him again. Hit him again, Murray. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yes. Fuck you, Teddy. We own most of the town. That's it, then. Your father was going to run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The false reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews, too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the everyone, way. Everyone, everyone. Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And... I saw. And... I'm sorry. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatment she couldn't afford. She played <laughs> along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even... Even still, she should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper. But no, that coward killed the story. We'll take care of Maurice Russell later. You've been through hell. That really sucks that you've been through all that and would never do anything so terrible to someone. You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. Never started. I shouldn't have pushed my George off the cliff. I should have been punished. He's coming to us. Oh, shit. Where they first met. When right after he shot the winning throw. Wait, wait, wait a sec. Um. Um. Oh no. <clears throat> right after he shot the winning throw. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. It's either the football field or the gym, right? It's either the football field or the gym. Shot the winning throw. Shot the winning throw. You don't shoot a football. You shoot a basketball. Gallows Creek High, in the gymnasium. That's right, Forrest. Not that it matters, but yes, we're here. Anyway. Just so you know, I did think about trying to cheat off chat, but it was all just like both answers going really, really fast. <laughs> I genuinely was like trying to rack my fucking brain. I was going to take a picture of the, the image over there and zoom in on my phone to see where he was at, if he was in a gym or a field. Someone explain. Will someone please explain <laughs> please to me what's happening? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? While you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. You remember? Well, it was from Dawn. I knew she was she in it. She was in it somehow. Marie was there that night George died. I knew she was in it somehow. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out. That my sister is the whistling man. Why? Good to see you too, Peggy. Why?
Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me. Look at why! With me when we need you on the radio. And I just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. I just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned I'd been with George. And... And... Uh, Marie, I'm so sorry. What do you mean? You're so sorry. You're gonna kill it! His son's really, birthday. It's mom and dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well, I'll have to settle for the next best thing. What? Next best thing? Do you mean someone has to pay for what they did? Murray, please. Mom and dad are gone. Babe. Oh, she's nuts. Besides, you forgot me. Oh, she's bonkers, bonkers. Put on the put on the music. She needs calm music. I can prove Peggy didn't forget Marie. Oh God. Oh no, there was a notebook, but I already threw it out the fucking window. I threw it out the fucking window. There was something on the fucking. There was something on the desk. There's something on the desk! No one's gonna forget. And I didn't! What's this? Peggy! Oh. No! It's a happy. It's a happy birthday. There's a happy. I found a I found a happy. I found a Henry, kill him. What? I found it. Henry, you don't have to do this. There's still time to make the right decision. Henderson police! Henry! <laughs> no! <laughs> Henry! Get out of there! We have one wounded, one dead, and we're in pursuit of the suspect. Kansas oh. police! Freeze! Forrest. Leslie? How's Peggy? She. Oh no! Oh my god. Peggy, where's Marie? I can't Gone. believe I found it the Both fucking frame here. afterwards! The police are right on her heels. Won't be long now. Oh! Oh, that's. I had it in my hands! I had it in my hands! You're fucking kidding! Murphy died and it was a stupid mistake. I had it in my fucking hands! Only birthday related deaths for some reason. You're kidding! Bro! Bro! I thought I picked it up and threw it in the crack! I was looking in the crack! God, it feels so good to hear any fucking song that isn't final breath. It feels so fucking good. Fuck! We say Jennifer, Scott, Cynthia, Tammy, that's us, Forrest, Hot, Dave, Chad, Heather, Teddy's even talking, Teddy's alive! Jason, Virginia, Sandra, Maurice, Eugene, motherfucking Roller Ricky and his pooch, Kyle, Lisa, Seth, Chuck, Martinez, Fucking Murphy died on his son's birthday in a garbage can on fire. And Peggy died because I was one millisecond too late. It's 
and then she drew her final fucking breath. I thought that was almost, I thought that was the song. I thought that was the song. Ugh. Nobody else has to get hurt. I wanna know what happens to her. Nope, no reloading in life, chat, sorry. And there she goes. heard this in my life. <laughs> I don't even know what this song is. I'm fucking leaving. I'm fucking leaving. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 